end of my career <laughs> just yeah. well as a tackler yeah as a tackler you know i remember that i was just a little kid then oh uh, <laughs> sure you were <laughs> Today's game is brought to you by the 2004 full-size Nissan Titan, your local Nissan dealer, Shift Power. That's so when I drive to the game, a beautiful Nissan Titan, Eddie Drummond, ranked third in the NFC in kickoff returns, will be deep to receive the kickoff from Ola Kimron, who is back with the Redskins again this week as John Hall still out with that pulled muscle. <laughs> John Canoza just... They have good, they have good special teams. Canoza just... Made it, made a note that he was in kindergarten when no, he was broke. born he in 61. <laughs> Shut up, John. <laughs> Drummond has a kickoff return for a touchdown so far this year, a 99 yarder. Just tell, tell Canoza, I'm not mentioning his volleyball. No more trip. volleyball no stats. More because volleyball of that. stats. Well, he's handed it to me. Uh -huh, I'd okay. like to say congratulations <laughs> to the Falkir girls volleyball team, Northwestern District Tournament champions. Good luck in Tuesday's regional matchup. All right. Good All luck right. to the Redskins this afternoon. Cameron yes. has it teed up at the 30-yard line. Great to have you with us for Washington Redskins football this afternoon from Detroit. Let's tee it up, guys. Let's go with it. Cameron, the run-up and the kick. He angles it to the Short. right. Drummond moves up to the 10-yard line and takes it to the 15-20. Going left, trying to get around the corner. There's a man there, James Thrash. Pushes him out of bounds at the 28-yard line where Detroit takes over first and 10. Joey Harrington, 12 touchdowns, four interceptions this year for the Lions, and their offense is rated dead last. It doesn't seem like they should be dead last. They've got some good talent on that offense. <laughs> they can't run the ball. That has been their problem. And when they this formula, they figure all this out with and total net yards. You can't be one-dimensional in this game. You've got to be able to throw the ball and move the ball in the air. Azir Hakim is to the left of the right, Roy Williams. The rookie, Kevin Jones out of Virginia Tech, and Corey Schlesinger split backs behind Harrington, who's back to pass on first down. Ball is deflected and incomplete. Intended for Roy Williams, who was cutting in. Sean Springs had him. The ball was thrown to the outside. He, he had him open. He did have him open. Yeah. Fortunately, the ball was tipped. Yeah, I think it uh, looked like Salavea tipped the ball. Now, Roy Williams back after missing the last two games with an ankle injury. Five touchdowns, the number seventh overall pick in the draft last year. Second and 10 Detroit at their own 28-yard line. High formation behind Harrington, and the give goes to Jones. Tries the right side, tripped up from behind, and that was Cornelius Griffin on the penetration, a loss of two. Boy, Cornelius Griffin, he has been... A, a strong block in there, hasn't he? I mean, he just comes through there. He has played extremely well. Good pick from the New York Giants. Now you know why they're last in the league, Larry. Can't yeah. run the ball. Can't well, run the ball. Well, he, he got a block for the guy. First time that they face a third down in their third and 11. Third and 11. From their own 27-yard line, Reggie Swinton, the third wide receiver. They're all to the left. Harrington back to pass, throws to the left. It is high. It is caught. One hand grab by Roy Williams. What a catch. It's a first down Detroit. And he went up with the right hand, and it stuck to his hand. Well, one thing about, about these big scoreboards here, if they give you a replay of it, I don't know whether they got both feet down or not. They should We're, give it to him just from the catch he made. One-handed grab. That is a highlight catch for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. make the highlights. For the league. What a catch. One hand with the right hand up and both feet are in. Tremendous play by Roy Williams. It was. First, first down. First and 10 at their own 44. I formation behind Harrington. Here comes the blitz by the Redskins. The gift to Jones. Not a lot of running room. Hit by Cornelius Griffin first. Marcus Washington second. And Lamar Marshall in there as well. He pushes ahead for a gain of two. I'll tell you one thing. If I see a catch like that, I'm playing in this. In this suck secondary. I say, no, thank you, coach. I don't want to cover this guy. Want to <laughs> he went up. That's unbelievable. How uh high -huh, he got up in the air. Wow. Sean Bryson, a six-year tailback out of Tennessee, is in the game replacing Jones. Three wideouts in the formation on second and eight. Hand off to Bryson, sweeping the right side. They string it out nicely. Sean Springs meets him head on at the line of scrimmage. Boy, that's great defense. Now that's the way you come up at the corner and turn it back in and make the tackle. Perfectly, perfect force by Sean Springs. Sean has had a great year. He has. So, so is Fred Smith. They really have done great. And Marcus so Washington <laughs> and Stephen Alexander used to be here. We're gotten a little tussle that time. Third and eight. 
for the Lions. They converted their last third down situation. Harrington brings him to the line. Azakim and Roy Williams to the left, to the right, Reggie Swinton. The lone setback is Sean Bryson from their own 46-yard line. Harrington back to pass. Pump fake, looking, and he throws it behind Stephen Alexander, incomplete. Being covered by Marcus Washington on the play. But that's going to bring on the punter, Nick Harris, and James Thrash to return the punt. Of course, Chad Morton home after suffering that torn knee ligament, and we wish him a speedy recovery. Out for the season. Yeah. Uh, Antonio Brown, the punt returner they brought in from the CFL, is not active today. James Thrash back to return. Nick Harris at his own 32-yard line. The snap is good, and the punt... There's a booming spiral. Thrash calling the fair catch, backpedaling to his own six. And the Redskins deep in a hole with their first possession. And there's a timeout on the field. No score. We've played two and a half minutes. Four first and ten at their own eight. And the way the stadium is configured, he's going to have a hard time being hurt down there, isn't he? Well, he is. It's Gordon if they have a dog pound or not. Maybe they have a lion's den down there or something. <laughs> dog pound. But, uh, but it's Cleveland. Really yeah, close, it's to the back there. Yeah. close to the action back there. They're close to the action back there. Brunel brings him to the line. Rod Gardner and Lavernius Coles are to the left. I formation. Robert Royal, the tight end. He deploys off as a slot man on the left side. Portis is the setback, and Rod Gardner's in motion to the right. Redskins moving right to left in front of us. Quick throw out to Lavernius Coles. He's at the 10 to the 15. He's got some running room to the 20-yard line. A quick little flare pass to the left side of the field, and he's got a first down. A little quick screen, quick rhythm passes, and he, right? A little quick screen to the wide out. And he was run out of bounds by Brock Marion, number 31. But that was a good opening play, and that's what you wanted to open with, a safe play. want you to open up, quick rhythm pass, quick yeah. rhythm pass. First and 10 Redskins at their own 20. They've got some breathing room now. Coles and Gardner to the right. Cooley splits out as a wide out to the left side of the formation. Royal stays in as a full black, fullback. Pitch off to the left side. Portis makes a man miss. He's got running room to the 30. Up ahead to the 35 of first down Redskins. Great cut by Portis. He almost tripped on that cut. Somehow kept his balance and moved forward for a substantial that, gain. That's a toss. The quarterback's tossing the ball to him instead of handing the ball to him. And that's becoming more and more popular because he can run wide. On a, on a break. Either way he wants to go doing that. <laughs> I saw the Ed Linesman just fell down. <laughs> Trying to get out of the way. <laughs> he just... Back-to-back -back first downs for the Redskins on their first two plays from scrimmage. First and ten at their own 35. Goals a slot man on the right side of the formation. Outside of him, Rod Gardner. Again, the I formation. Brunel, straight gift to Portis. Cuts it up. Spins over the line of scrimmage. Oh, he was one tackle away from breaking it. Gets up to the 38-yard line. Stop by your Exxon station today to get your official Washington Redskins fan zone merchandise. Hurry to Exxon today. Corey Redding, number 78 from Detroit, was blocked, and he came over top of the block and just grabbed Portis and jerked him down. Playing a, a gain of three for Clinton on first down. Second and seven Redskins at their own 38-yard line. 10.45 to go in the first quarter. There is no score. Rock Gardner in motion. Backtracks to the right. Brunel back to pass from the pocket, has plenty, plenty of time throwing on the sideline right side, and he throws it into the Redskins bench. Just Way overthrown. Another high pitch. Nope, didn't want to force it, didn't want to take any chances. We threw that one away. Well, he had a lot of time, didn't he? Yes, he did. Got locked in on that receiver, though. He did. He should look around. Well, third down situation here for the Redskins. They were a miserable one of ten against Green Bay last Sunday. Let's see if they can improve on that today. Third and seven at their own 38-yard line. Lions crowd trying to get into the game. Coles is in motion to the right. The setback is Liddell Betts. Brunel back to pass. Feeling some heat. Scrambling. Throws it off to Robert Royal. It's incomplete. A lot of pressure on Mark Brunel that time. The blitz was on, and they got, flushed him out of the pocket, and he was moving change of possessions. Eddie Drummond stands at his own 20-yard line. Tupa at his own 24. A good snap by the red snapper, and Tupa angles it to the right side. Drummond giving chase. Back to his own 14. In there for the tackle immediately. Great special teams play by the Redskins. Adi Jamon, first man down, and he wraps him up for no gain. After a 49-yard punt, there is no score here in the first quarter. Back 
so he could feel at home. So the Lions have it first and 10 at their own 13 yard line after the nice punt by Tom Tupa. Here we go. Roy Williams to the right, to the left, Oz Hakeem Schlesinger's the fullback. He's in motion. The gift to Kevin Jones right up the middle. The hole is plugged by Cornelius Griffin again. He ain't going nowhere. No gain on that play. Boy, Redskins playing good team defense. I mean, I'm glad to hear you say that. I mean, Clark was in there that time filling that hole. Clark has been playing extremely well. He's playing for Matt Bowen, who's out for the rest of the year. Ryan Clark, number 25. I mean, he jumped right into that hole that time. Second and 10 at their own 13 for the Lions. They put two wide to the left. Swinton and Roy Williams. Asakim is to the right. Lone setback is Bryson. Short drop by Harrington. He floats it out to Swinton. And he's thrown out of bounds by Fred Smoot. And they're going to whistle him for unsport for a roughing call. Yes, oh, that's they are. That oh, is. man. Hey, he's doing by your local Washington area McDonald's restaurants. So the Lions have some breathing room on the personal foul on Fred Smoot. First and 10 at their own 35-yard line. Akeem's in the slot on the right side. Schlesinger is in motion. Rolled out by Harrington. Flips it out. Has a man. It's complete. It is Swinton again out of bounds at the 43-yard line. Got to be careful. John Taylor hit him and knocked him out of bounds. You, you, you never know. Unless he's he's standing on the sideline there yeah. next to his coach. He is. Swinton to the left, to the right, Oz Hakeem on second and two at their own 43-yard line. Harrington gives to Kevin Jones, trying to find room around the right side. He's grabbed by Sean Springs for a loss of two. Again, Sean Springs right on the scene. Sure tackler. Great force, but the defense plugged the holes. There was no place for the ball carrier to run, and he finally ended up going outside, and Sean Springs was right there. Is the Redskins' defense against the run that good, or are these guys that bad running the football? It's, they're that bad. They don't oh, they don't rush the ball for much, minute. but the Redskins defense hey, has played one. well all year. The number one rated in the NFL. Five uh, runs, negative one yard. I'm saying that they 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 really play well, Sam. Yeah. But this team does not rush the ball well. Roy Williams back in on third and short. Harrington feeling some heat, scrambling to his right. He's got room, tripped at the 45. He's got the first down to the 48 yard line. Sam, they only rush the ball for 76 yards a game. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. They're not a good rushing team. Another first down for the, well, he got a first down on the ground on the scramble. That time, Joey Harrington, first yeah. and 10 at their own 49-yard line. Okay, he was running scared, wasn't he? He really was. He was picking him up and moving. I mean, Cornelius Griffin just tripped him up by the ankle. Ball at the 49-yard line. Roy Williams is to the right, to the left, Aza Keem, I formation, and they give it to Kevin Jones up the middle. Tough run in there, across the 50 to the Redskins' 48-yard line. Lamar Marshall in, along with Brandon Noble on the stop. Remember, you don't have to wait for Sundays to get your dose of the Redskins. Check out the Washington Notebook every day in the Washington Post sports section. A dose, huh? The Redskins Notebook every day in the Washington Post. I'll take a dose of that. Oh, uh, Washington. Okay. <laughs> Gain of four on first down for the Lions. In motion to the left, Roy Williams. Lions moving left to right in front of us. Hand off to Jones, and he Flipped. gets tripped up. Tripped up on the cut inside. Maybe a gain of one that time, bringing up another third down. It's a big blue lion in the middle of this field. I think he paint. slipped on I, it. I think it's a different uh, texture. Yeah, I do too. Where the paint is. He went down like a... Uh, Someone went, tripped him, but there was no one near him. The Lion tripped him. The Lion tripped him. Walt Harris in as a nickelback for the Redskins as the Lions face a third and five at the Redskins 46. He nipped him on the ankle. 6.30 to go in quarter number one. Swinton is out to the left. Asakim, Roy Williams, and Stephen Alexander in a cluster to the right. From the shotgun formation, Joey Harrington on third and five. Redskins fake the blitz. They're coming up the middle. Harrington steps up and fires. Incomplete. Hit Roy Williams in the hands. Do it behind him, though. Yep. And Sean Springs again on the play. Had it behind him. He only got one they of those one-handed catches a game, huh? Yeah. Well, well down at his own 10. Redskins started their first possession on their own six. Low snap. Harris gets it. Terrible oh, punt. It's short. Punt. It's going to hit at the 20. Rolling inside oh. the 10. Down to the five. Still rolling. And it's down at the two-yard line. Terrible. Someone needs to catch that football. Terrible punt. <laughs> 44 yards of the boot and the Redskins. You can do it. We can help. 
Hand off to Clinton Portis on first down from his own three-yard line, spinning out of a tackle at the five to the ten-yard line. Redskins in a hole and a late flag thrown. Late flag thrown in the air. Brian Kozlowski there for the Redskins. Well, you know, when you do stupid things. Was it Red Cash and he used to say he's giving him the business? He yes. To, he that was Ben Dreif. Ben Dreif. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Red Cash and used to say first down, right? Anyway, good old officials. First and ten Redskins at their own 25-yard line. Portis is the setback. In motion, the tight end, Robert Royal. Pitch right side, Clinton Portis. The big sweep across the 25 to the 30. Clears the corner to the 40-yard line. First down, Redskins. Boy, that was a nice looking sweep. Well, they, they pitched the ball again. They got a lot of people out in front of him. I think Clinton likes that uh, that pitch play. You know, it works almost like a split T formation where the quarterback comes down on an option play and tosses it back. Very similar, but this quarterback's not going to run with the ball with the red for the red screen. Portis in the first yeah. quarter, four carries, 36 yards. 38 yards. Can't read his righty. Portis <laughs> remains the tailback. First and 10 at their own 38. Again, Robert Royal in motion to the right. Straight give up the middle to Portis, picking his way over the 40 to the 41-yard line. Not a lot of running room there for Clinton, bringing up a second and nine. Well, today's game is being brought to you by the all-new Chrysler Pacifica, the most powerful vehicle in its class. That's the way to travel. Taylor Jacobs in the game now for the Redskins as a third wide receiver. Second and eight, we'll call it, at their own 40. Redskins drive started at their own three-yard line. Four and a half minutes to go in the first quarter. There is no score. High formation behind Burnell. Gets a snap from Corey Raymer. Short drop, floating it down the left side. Rob Gardner's there. A little bump, but it's out of bounds. Bad throw. Yeah, Dre Bly was covering him. Bad throw that time. Didn't throw it down the field. There's a third down situation. Third and eight for the Redskins at their own 40. Got Cooley in the slot now. Liddell Betts is the tailback. And Cooley is in motion. He backtracks to the left. Offsides. Offside. Detroit. Free Burnell play. looking, throwing down the left sideline. Hits Lavernius Coles up to the 50-yard line. But the Lions were offside, and the free play gets him a first down. Exactly right. How about the quarterback, cornerback throwing down? He's the on the Redskins. field. He's on the playing field. Well, Sam. I know, but he threw him down hard. <laughs> defense, the left end is declined. The play results in a first down. There you go. There you go. GMRI scoreboard. Pittsburgh seven nothing over Philadelphia. Tampa Bay has tied Kansas City seven apiece. Cincinnati three nothing leading the Cowboys three three. Arizona and Miami. The scoreboard brought to you by Purple Heart. To donate, call eight 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 four one four give. Here we have no score. Four minutes, five seconds to go in the first quarter. The Redskins, first and ten at the Lion 49-yard line. Brunel barking the signals to give to Portis, trying the right side behind Randy Thomas. Robert Worrell pushing up front, a gain of four. Redskins running right quite a bit here so far in the first quarter. Yeah. Running over at Dan Wilkinson, who used to play for the Redskins, and, and a little bit outside of really yeah. off tackle. They're not running up the middle where all those two big guys are. Well, they got some beef up front. Well, they do. Dan Wilkinson and Sean Rogers, no need to try to run in between them, run outside of them. Well, Randy Thomas and Ray Brown total 620 pounds between them. How'd you like to feed all these guys? Man, what a food bill. Second and seven Redskins at the Detroit Lion 46-yard line. Again, Robert Royal is in motion to the left. End around, Rod Gardner. They stuck that one out beautifully. A loss on that play. Big time loss on that play. Well, I had a blitz coming from that side, Larry, and he ran right into it. James Davis, second-year man out of West Virginia. Yep. And Gardner was a sitting duck. Well, they, you know, they've run that reverse now almost every game. And so defense, you know, they watch films too. Substantial loss back to their own 45-yard line brings up a third and 16 for the Redskins. Here comes your screen pass. Taylor That's Jacobs in the game. Brunel from the pocket, looking, looking, checks off, dumps it off over the outstretched arms of Liddell Betts as he came across the field right to left, and the Redskins are going to have to punt. He they was, missed a check down. Yep, he was wide. Tupa moving back to his own 30-yard line. Drummond stands at his own 13. 
Good snap by Ethan Albright. And Tupa angling it to the coffin corner. Left side, hits at the three. And James Thrash with a fantastic the job at the one-yard line. Man, that's great special teams play. He reached out and caught it before it went over the goal line. 54 yards in the boot. Wow, there's no score. You're listening to Redskins Radio. The state of Maryland gives us a lot of things to cheer about. Our vast watershed. Him staying back there, Joey Heatherton. Harrington. Harrington. Joey, Joey Heatherton. I, I'm Joey. I'm Heatherton. <laughs> <laughs> Harrington. Joey so, Heatherton. Some, some people have compared it's him to Joey like, Heatherton. I, I have LeVar Arrington on my mind, oh. and he's not even playing. Oh, yeah. I think you got Joey Heatherton on your mind. <laughs> oh, yeah. Roy Williams on the sideline. First and ten from their own one-yard line for Detroit. They hand off to Schlesinger. He burrows in under the line and gets out to the three-yard line. It's a nose dive he took in there. He really did. Nose dive supposed to run with your eyes open and your head up. <laughs> he went in. And just trying to get away. Ronaldo Wynn is down holding his right ankle. He got his foot caught up underneath that running back as he put his nose into the ground. Ronaldo still down. Well, I, I think the fullback ran his helmet into his leg. I think that's what happened. There is no score. Timeout on the field. This is Redskins Radio. And now here's Dirk with the weather. Thanks. Figure out something offensively, defensively. They've got the Lions in a hole, second and eight at their own three. Ron Warner in for Ronaldo Wynn. Walked off under his own power. Into the game, Artos Pinner. Tailback, two-year man out of Kentucky. Her Harrington from his own end zone. Pump fake, and he throws it away. Where was he going with that football? I don't think he knew either. Man, wild high to the right, right at the three-yard line, way over the head of Stephen Alexander. You know what? Well, he's a little nervous back in the yeah. end zone. He doesn't want to get caught for a safety. Yeah, and he thought he he felt pressure coming from the weak side, from his back side, so he unloaded the ball. Or the other way you can look at it, maybe he's been looking at a lot of Mark Brunel's films. That was... Uh, Throw it away. We got the matchup we wanted that time, too. You got Sean Taylor on Roy Williams. Roy Williams comes out to the right on third and eight at their own three-yard line. Asa Keem is to the left. Joey Harrington from his own end zone. Here comes the blitz. Fires over the middle. Man wide open. It's the tight end. He's got a first down to the 15-yard line. The backup tight end, Casey Fitzsimmons, found the seam, and Harrington delivered. Found him in a hurry, yeah. too. Boy, he... I tell you, Joey could unload that ball in a hurry. That's one thing about him. He he doesn't uh, make bad decisions back there. He's in his third year. He was the number one draft choice. It gets him out of the hole. Three years ago. To some extent, first and ten at their own 16-yard line. I formation behind Harrington. And the give goes to the back man. That is Pinner. Gets tripped up at the 17-yard line. The GMRI scoreboard. Pittsburgh 14-0 over Philadelphia. KC and Tampa Bay deadlocked at 7 it's Miami 9, Arizona 3, and Cincinnati shutting out Dallas 3-0 all those games in the first quarter. The scoreboard brought to you by Digitel, Washington, D.C.'s number one Nextel preferred partner. This quarter's drawing to a close, too, at no score here. No score, 40 seconds and counting in the first quarter. Neither, neither team has been close to score. Lions second and seven. Pinner remains the tailback. Ball at their own 19. Harrington, pump fake. Floats it deep down the sideline left side. There's a flag on the play. Flag on the play, and they're going to get one of the Redskins for a hold. The ball incomplete. Was that a catchable ball? Well, they ran us right now. That's better than a... I think they marked the ball. They haven't marked the ball at the right place. Well, they're at their 19, so 19 plus 5 is 24. Whoever made okay. that. I whoever, went to Maryland. I know that. Whoever made those rules like that didn't even think about what they could cause the problems on automatic first down. No, nothing wrong with automatic first downs. What? They, they had to go 10 yards. Double and tight end formation on first and 10 at their own 24 for the Lions. Play action fake. Harrington has all kinds of time. Throws it, and it's over the outstretched hand on the left side to Casey Fitzsimmons. If he had thrown it low, it would have been a completion. Yeah, he made a bad throw then. Boy, he's... Uh, he, say it. in trouble. <laughs> Bend of the tailback. Schlesinger split backs behind Joey Harrington. Back to pass. Pressure up the middle. It's a screen pass to Pinner on the left side. And getting in there to break the play up, Lamar Marshall. Great. On that screen, that's the way you got well. to play. Perfect play by Lamar Marshall on the screen pass. 
That's going to be the final play of the first quarter as the Redskins defense stiff as usual. There is no score after one. Back after this on the WJFK Redskins Radio Network. I'm Lavernius Coles. Back at Sports Authority to make sure our fans... A one for three on third down conversions. They have 57 total yards, 34 rushing, 23 passing. No sacks, no interceptions, no fumbles, two penalties. They had to bump. Mark Brunel, two for six, 23 yards. Portis is six carries, 44 yards. Harrington's five of nine. And Jones, six carries, six yards. Second and 20 Lions at their own 14-yard line from the shotgun. Harrington gets the direct snap, steps up, fires over the middle. It's incomplete, almost intercepted. Sean Taylor had a beat on the football. The deflection falls to the turf incomplete. Well, I'll tell you, Ryan Clark got it right here. He, this is the place. This is the place you get it. Third and long. If he doesn't run a draw play or a screen play, you know, he's foolish. From the shotgun, the Redskins deploy five safeties, and Harrington's going to run up the middle, and he is clobbered by Marcus Washington, hammered to the turf. <laughs> That's what you want. That is, let him run. He's no friend Tarkington. And he just got drilled by Marcus Washington. Love that. Well, look at the smile on Sam's face oh, when yeah. you see some violence oh, I know. Like when that. he sees some people, people <laughs> picking on quarterbacks. I know it. They know it. Hey, <laughs> he shouldn't run with it. He should throw it. Nick Harris back into the game, stands at his own five-yard line. James Thrash at his own 37, awaits the punt. This is where you can get a good return. We have no score here. Second quarter just underway. That snap, he goes to his right to get it, and he gets off a terrible punt. He's going to hit at the 45. Thrash is going to take it at the 35-yard line, going cross field. East-west, not north-south. Breaks the tackle at 35 on the left side and out of bounds at the 38. He should have come up to catch a ball in the air. It was a line drive pump. Hunters have been bounce. terrible. Nick Harris has been terrible. There is no score here. In the Larry Michael with Sonny Jurgensen and Sam Huff. There is no score here in quarter number two. 13.58 to go in the second quarter. Redskins nothing. Detroit Lions nothing. You think they could put 11 men out there? Yeah. Well, here yeah. comes Brian Kozlowski at the last second as the Redskins wait to see the defense deployed by Detroit. And they're going to go double tight end here. I wonder why it took them so long. I mean, you know, they were in between quarters. Lone wide receiver is to the right. It's Rod Gardner. Redskins moving left to right in front of us here in the second quarter. Portis is the setback. Robert Burrell, the tight end, is in motion to the left. Pitch left side. Clinton Portis has a lot of running room, but he gets tripped up. Nice play by Dre Bly. Was. Pro bowler to knife in there and trip up Clinton Portis, who falls ahead for a gain of one. Well, that's a nice play, though, for Clinton Portis. I mean, that's a chance for him to really break a big one going outside and wide like that. And what it does is it wears your defense down because they have to pursue out there in order to catch the play. Give him a gain of two on the play, second and eight at their own 41. Once again, there is no score here in Detroit. Redskins and Lions scoreless. Brunel back to pass, looking, fires, has a man. It's incomplete. It was intended for Lavernius Coles, the midfield stripe, and the ball hits the turf. Dre Bly defending. Redskins offense has to find something to click here. Brunel under center. The setback is Betts. Nothing has changed. You still have to make plays in the passing game. Third and eight. Rod Gardner in motion. Brunel back to pass. Feeling some heat. Scrambling to his left. Still scrambling. Throwing it deep. Down the left sideline in the hands of Chris Cooley. Knocked out of bounds. And he dropped it. And it's incomplete. Actually, <laughs> Drummond deep to receive the punt from Tupa. It's a low oh, wobbler to the right side. Hits it to 25 and goes out of bounds to 22. Oh, that's what you call a shank. Yeah, he shanked it. Oh. That was up. Jergerson quarterback score. Joey Harrington, 5 for 10, 46 yards. I formation behind Harrington on first and 10 Lions at their own 24-yard line. Rolling to his right. Harrington throws to his right. Too low for Roy Williams. That was a terrible throw. And the ground. And he's getting booed. So every quarterback gets booed once in a while, don't yes, they, Sonny? Yes, they do. Even Roy Williams and Asa Kim are to the left of the formation on second and 10 at their own 24-yard line. Redskins defense has stifled Detroit. Detroit's defense has stifled the Redskins. Harrington gives to Jones. Hits the hole, spins out of a tackle. Sean Taylor comes in and wraps him up at the 28-yard line. Maybe the 29. 
Clark. Gain of five on that play. Ryan Clark in on that tackle. Really very little excitement in this building. Yeah, it is. The biggest well, cheer was for the Dunkin' Donuts mascot that came out. Wait a minute. If you're playing defense for the Redskins, that's that's pretty exciting what they're doing. Is silencing the crowd. That's right. Taking the crowd out of the game. Third and five, Lions at their own 29. Kevin Jones now deployed as a wide receiver to the right side of the formation. To the left, it is Stephen Alexander as they spread the field on third and five at their own 29. Harrington from the shotgun. Has time. Looking left. Looking right. He's going to scramble up the middle. Throws it and has got a man Schlesinger. Great play by Harrington to find him out of the corner of his eye. And that's a first down to the 35. I think he was over the line of scrimmage. He was close. I think he was over the line he of scrimmage. He was close. Yeah, I know. But they, they let him get away with it. I said he was close. And the you Redskins can, challenge can that. I you guess can. you can challenge that, can't you? Yeah. Let's see where he is here. I don't think so. I couldn't see. They're not going to waste a challenge on it. I don't think they're going to waste a challenge. They're looking at the sideline. Yes. Yeah, they're going to challenge it. They're going to challenge it. All right. They had a first down anyway. You just lose a, you lose a timeout. First and 10 Lions at their own 35. We'll get you caught up to date on the scoreboard after this play. Harrington brings them to the line. There is no score here. Redskins and Lions. Nothing, nothing. Here's the reverse to Oz Hakeem sweeping left side, being chased by Joe Salave, who pushes him out of bounds. Boy, that's good hustle. That was Demetric Evans, check that, yeah, who yeah. really strung it out nicely. Yeah, Demetric Evans and Oz Hakeem, who wins that race? So it was Demetric that time, the GM strong. Looks like he's going to make Rookie of the Year fairly easy if he keeps it up. 0-0 zero, zero here, Oz Hakeem to the right, Roy Williams to the left on second and 10 at their own 35. Harrington from behind is drilled. He is buried. He is hurt, and he gets up. That was, just, uh, that was uh, Cornelius Griffin. Griffin again. Man, he just pancaked him. He did. On the blind side, too. Is that a pass? Did it come out or did it fumble it out of there? Or what? He got rid of the football in time. Whoa. Incomplete, incomplete pass. pass. Gee. He took a hit. Yes, he did. I don't think Griffin could have gotten it. Griffin asked Harrington if he's okay, and Harrington acknowledged the hit. Real Boy. clean hit from behind. I mean, he just hammered him. And he hammered him into the turf, too. Took him down. Boom. Wow. That's, a, that's close to 300 pound hitting you on the blind side. Third and 10 Lions at their own 35-yard line. Harrington from the shotgun formation gets the snap, throws it. Right side off the hands of Stephen Alexander, incomplete. Stephen Alexander right off his hand. Should have caught that one. Marcus Washington, the defender on that play. And that brings in the punter again, Nick Harris. Boy, we've got a punting contest going on, don't we? Going to be leg-weary after this. We used to call this drive-back. Oh, that's right. Remember that? Yes. He just keep us here. He used to play this all the time as kids. Drive by. Harris stands at his own 21-yard line. James Thrash at his own 25. Harris has gotten off a couple bad punts here. The last couple. This is Spiral coming down to Thrash at his own 15. Angling to the right. Makes a man miss to the 20. Still on his feet around the corner. 25-30. Has room to the 40. Still on his feet to the 50. Cuts inside. Dragged down at the 44 of Detroit. The punter gets in there, and James Thrash a tight roll back on the right sideline with a fantastic return. Well, it looked like he came close to stepping out of bounds, but we'll see if uh, Marucci wants to challenge it. Well, that's the biggest play of the game so far. Gives the Redskins the ball at the 42-yard line of Detroit. Touchdown. we got to have a touchdown. 43 yards on the return by James Thrash. Best punt return all year, isn't it, so far? I think so. Well, bad news for the Redskins defense. Yeah, Philip what? Daniels pulled groin muscle, the same injury wow. he suffered earlier this year, and he is out. Redskins need to do something with this great punt return by James Thrash and a whistle. And what's the call? Game brought to you by Hot Lotto, DC Lottery's new million dollar game. Play, score, and win with Hot Lotto. Good field position for the Redskins. This is it, right, Sonny? I mean, this is a huge possession considering neither team can move the ball. Exactly. Oh. Great job by Thrash to stay in bounds, and the punter actually had to take him down. Well, I tell you what, he had one foot. He didn't. Another inch, he's out. That was a replay. Is where they need to score here, guys. Gardner and calls it to the left. The handoff to Portis cuts it up at the 41 yard line. He's tackled immediately at the line of scrimmage by Hall. James Hall, the five-year man out of Michigan, on the stop. 
No gain on the play. Second and 10 Redskins at the 42. Actually, they get it down to the 41-yard line, so a gain of one. Get him wide. Get him wide. Single wide receiver in the formation is Lavernius Coles to the left side of the formation. Kozlowski, Cooley, and Royal. Three tight ends in the game. And the gift to Portis. Get him wide. Sweeping get left him side. Wide. Has a blocker there over the 35, down to the 30, inside the 30 to the 29. Get him wide. Get him wide. And Dre Bly on the stop. That's a first down Redskins. He had Dockery and Randy Thomas out in front there. Well, he can take off. I mean, he has great foot speed. Whenever he sees a little hole, he takes off. Portis does. Got him around the end. What's he got? Nine carries, 59 yards. Good first half for Clinton so far. Redskins get the first down at the Lions 29-yard line. This place is silent. Well, there's nothing to cheer about here. Got that right. Portis remains the setback. He gets the call on the right side. Looking for a hole to the 20. Down to the 20-yard line. Clinton very close to a first down as he explodes over the right side. Nice block by Brian Kozlowski, the tight end. Earl Holmes in on the stop along with Bracey Walker. They shouldn't put it up. They should just continue to run the ball. That's what they need to do. I mean, wear down the defense. Pound it in there. Now he's saying don't throw it now, right? And <laughs> well, he agrees with me. It, it's sitting helping them down the road. Stay with the three tight ends. Coles the lone wide out to the left. Portis is the setback. Second and one. Do you put it up here? No, they give it to Portis on the right side. He gets hit at the line of scrimmage and crunched down at the 20. He doesn't have the first down. So they go another down with it. So all he has to do is run a quarterback sneak, pick it up. Not now. Not now. Actually, he might have, he might have lost a little bit that time. Yeah, it's still third and one. Oh, he got a good up. mark. Ball they, right at the 20-yard line. They gave him a good mark. Yeah, they did. Got to get to the 19. Lions changing people on the fly. Coles remains the lone wide receiver. Three tight end set. Washington one of four on third down. Portis gets it. Has the first down by maybe the length of the football. Gets inside the 19. Maybe down to the 18. Uh -huh. Running back wide again, guys. Depends on the mark. I think they're going to give him the mark. Yeah. Forward progress uh, past the 19. They'll measure it, I think. I think you go for it on fourth down. I think you kick a field goal. <laughs> if you don't have... <laughs> so the Redskins with the first down eight minutes to go in the second quarter and any score would be a big score run him wide Brunel looking over at the sideline to coach Joe Gibbs go ahead give him, run him wide what takes him so long to call plays Lions defenders trying to get their fans in the game here Coles is to the left Portis the lone setback again a triple tight end set for the Redskins in motion is Chris Coley to the left side. And a handoff. No, play action fake. Brunel rolling to his right. Still rolling. Throws. Has a man. It's Kozlowski. The he catch is it. made at the six-yard line. First and goal, Redskins. That's a great catch. That's a good throw also. <laughs> Running to his right is a left hand to throw in that ball. Yeah. First catch of the year for Brian Kozlowski, who has been cut a couple times in the early going this year, and he gets his hands on the football. Well, I tell you what, that was a heck of a catch right there. That was shoestring high, I think. First and goal at the six-yard line. Yeah. Portis remains the lone setback. They, set, they stay with that same set, and they hand off to Portis, sweeping the right side. All kinds of humanity there. No place to go. Get stacked up at the line of scrimmage. Get ready for the bootleg. Boy, the whole blind defense, it seems, was over there on the right side to stack that play up. He'll bootleg to the, the left this time. To the left, exactly. Yeah, He'll go run. that way. Yeah, that... He got that ball in there going to his right, but as you said, Sonny, that is really a tough, tough deal. Yeah, to tough, though. He, and nope. he on this hash mark, so he'll be going to the wide side of the field. Ball just outside the five-yard line. There is no score here in Detroit. Redskins and Lions score with six and a half minutes to play in the first half. Bootleg left. Cooley is in motion. Handoff to Clinton Portis. Cuts over a hole. Dives ahead to the four-yard line. Stop on the play made by Bracey Walker, the strong safety. He faked the bootleg left. Yep. He's setting it up. <laughs> he he did. A draw play like a draw play turned out. Third and goal at the four. And Sonny, you are predicting the bootleg. All right. Liddell Betts it. coming in. He replacing faked it that time. Course. Set it up, huh? Yeah, he faked it that it's time. Almost, like time. A, almost a little delay yeah. run. 
third and goal at the four. Liddell Betts is the setback. Coles is out to the left side of the formation. Cooley is in motion to the left. Brunel back to pass. Steps up, fires, has a man at the one. It's complete. Liddell Betts to the one yard line. And the Redskins have a decision to make. You got to go for the field goal in a scoreless game. Or it down. Well, that's why they pay Joe Gibbs to coach. This is a decision. Yeah, and they're making it right now on the fly. Redskins, a little indecisive. They will go for it. Liddell Betts stays in. Portis is in. Not necessarily do they have to go for it. Why? Well, they could call timeouts do yet and kick it. Mike Sellers is in, and they go big jumbo. No wideouts. They're going to try to smash it in here on fourth and goal at the one. In the eye formation, Portis the setback. Sellers in front of him. Cooley in motion to the left. Brunel, the handoff. There's a flag on the play. There's a flag on the play. He throws it into the end zone. It's a touchdown, Redskins, but the flag will nullify the play. Bootleg. All start. <laughs> Kimron comes in. The spot will come at the 14-yard line. Tupa is the holder. Kimron this year, two of three in the field goal department. I tell you what, I saw a replay of it. It did not look like he was in motion. From 24 yards out, the kick is up. And Ola Kimron delivers. The field goal is good from 24 yards out, giving the Redskins the three nothing lead. That's another $250 donated by Mets. Don't reach him. Kick it to an up back. Three nothing to score. Don't forget at halftime, Earl Forsey will stop by. The highlights from around the National Football League, the scoreboard, the stats of this one. How long do you think it's going to take to read the stats from this one? <laughs> Four, three, two, one. <laughs> Cameron with the run up and the boot. It is high and short. It's a pooch kickoff, and it goes out of bounds. And that's going to give the Lions great field position. I can't believe they would do that again. They did it. I've <laughs> seen a guy whip a punt. <laughs> <laughs> now first and ten Lions go. Oh, at their own 40-yard line. Good field position for them in motion. Oz Hakeem to the left side of the formation. Harrington gets to the Jones, and he is knocked down in the backfield again. That time Joe Salavea does his Samoan dance back there with Cornelius Griffin. A loss of one on that first down Boy, play. I'll tell you what, those two tackles, defensive tackles for the Redskins are really playing great football. The Lions do you a favor every time they run it. I mean, how many you. yards they have rushing, John? They have 10 the, yet? The Lions, they they have, have 10. They, yeah. Okay. Got seven so, carries, 11 yards. Jones has seven carries for that 11 scramble yards. by Harrington oh, gave it to him. Harrington, that's it. Second and 11 from their own 39-yard line. Split backs behind Harrington, who's back to pass over the middle. Has a man, Asa came with the catch. And he ducks under the tackle of Demetric Evans and lands at the 47-yard line. Three yards short of the first down. 345 and counting in the first half. The Lions facing a third and three at their own 47. They're not getting a lot of pressure up the middle on, on Joey. Boy, this, this offense came in ranked last in the National Football League. Yes. And they deserve that ranking. Yes, they do. They've done a good job. They've earned it. And earning it today also. Third and three from the 47. In motion, Roy Williams to the left. Split backs behind Harrington. Who's back to pass. Here comes Griffin. He's got a hand on him. He is sacked. Cornelius Griffin. Ronaldo went in there as well. Salavea there. Cornelius yep. Griffin gets his third sack of the year. Well, they, got the, they got the pressure up the middle that time. That's the biggest sack of the game brought to you by Wendy's. Pickup window open till at least 1 a.m. Demetric Evans went on the inside move, and that freed up Cornelius Griffin. Griffin got the sack. Griffin got the sack is right. Nick Harris in to punt from his own 24-yard line. The Redskins defense does it again. And Thrash awaits the punt. It's a wobbler coming up short. Thrash with a fair catch at the 25, and he makes it there with 2.45 to go in the first half. A 37-yard punt. The GMRI scoreboard. Philadelphia on the scoreboard with the field goal. They trail, though, 21-3 in the second quarter. Cincinnati Hotel, Washington, D.C.'s number one Nextel preferred partner. Here, what, what is it here? 3-0. It is 3-0 here. The Redskins leading it. High formation behind Brunel. First and 10 at their own 26-yard line. 
And the give to Clinton Portis. Running on the right side. Breaks a tackle, but not much running room. Gets to the 27-yard line. A gain of one. Stop made over there by Alex Lewis. Backup linebacker, a rookie out of Wisconsin. That play earns him a seat on the bench as they switch players out. On second and nine, the clock rolls. 225 and counting. A loss to... Gardner and Lavernius Coles are to the left. Redskins 10 runs on first down so far this afternoon. Just two passes. Portis sweeping, spins at the 30, gets to the 35-yard line. Very close to a first down. Great move by Clint Portis to escape that tackler. Boy, he, he's got great feet. Gracie Walker making the stop. Two-minute warning brought to you by Virginia Outdoor Power Equipment of Merrifield, your outdoor power equipment superstore. The Redskins lead it 3-0. Timeout. This is Redskins Radio. Oh. Get them wide. Get him wider. He can do anything. You, you need a vehicle? <laughs> I got me a nice vehicle. Okay. <laughs> Coles and Gardner to the right on third and one at their own 35-yard line. All Col tackle. Bully the H back in front of Portis in the I formation. Play action fake Brunel. Floats it over the middle. Has a completion. It's in and out of the hands, however, of Lavernius Coles incomplete. Would have right. had the first down. Right. And to receive the punt again is... Eddie Drummond stands at his own 21-yard line. I wonder what the record is for punts in the game. One of the wingmen coming in tight. They're going to bring it right now. Tupa with a good snap and the boot. It's a nice one. Turns over, driving the receiver. Drummond back to his own 12. Going right side, cuts it to 20, and he is clotheslined and delivered to the turf. And I think that was 50. Kerry Campbell. Yes, Kerry Campbell. Campbell took him down a forearm to the chest after an 8-yard return. That's why you put those... They, uh, and really have Joey Harrington rattle because he's getting pressure up the middle and he's not used to it. Well, the Redskins have a three-man front. They'll rush Marcus Washington from this set. They have Walt Harris in the game, Todd France in the game. They have six DBs deployed. Ronaldo Wynn back in there. Antonio Pierce and Marcus Washington up on that line. First and 10. Lions at their own 20 from the shotgun. Harrington looking, looking. Fires left. Has Steven Alexander. He's out of bounds. Catches the ball out of bounds. Second and 10 coming up for Steve, the Lions. Steven has always had trouble knowing where the sideline marker is. They, you know, and I'm in Arizona. For the Lions with a minute 38 to go. Faces second and 10 from their own 20. Redskins have Salavea, Ronaldo Wynn, and Ron Warner up front. Also going to bring Marcus Washington on the blitz. Here he comes up the middle. Harrington dumps it over the middle. In and out of the hands of Asa King. Hit him in the hands at the 30-yard line. And Todd France almost had an interception. After the tip. What? <laughs> <laughs> Only kidding you. Oh, yeah. A lot of silence on that yeah. side of the ball. Third and 10, Detroit. Boy, the Redskins are showing a maximum blitz. Now they back off. Harrington scrambling, still looking, being chased. He's going to get dumped. He's dumped. It is Cornelius Griffin again, along with Ron Warner. The Redskins might want to call a timeout with 122 and counting. They do. Is that a sack, John? Another sack for... That's two for Cornelius for today. Griffin. And they should be serious for a second when they do come in. They should take a shot down the field. They should take a, a long shot. Now you would think they have nothing to lose. You got an offense... If, if you could leave the field and they wouldn't score till the 10 plays. Well, I mean, they're going to have good field position. The punter, Harris, exactly. hasn't been able to kick it and yeah. flash stand it at his own 40-yard line. So, one time out, a minute 22 to go. Got plenty of time to do something here. And, and they, but what, what I'm saying is, with the possession, they should take a shot. Take a long shot. Redskins with one timeout remaining. Help improve your community. Get kids involved in the community service and compete for over $100,000 in community grants. Join the Redskins All-Stars Community Service Program sponsored by the Freddie Mac Foundation. For more info, log on to Redskins.com and click on Community. Get involved today. So Nick Harris stands at his own four-yard line after the Redskins took the timeout. This is where... You need to need to score on special teams. He's going to get this ball in good yeah. field position. That would Take help. off with it. Yeah. The tenth punt of this first half. Harris gets the snap. Puts the foot into it. It's coming up short. Thrash calling for the fair catch at his 39-yard line with 1.20 to go. Plenty of time if he can get the ball downfield through the air. Got it.
Jerome and he can warm up the buses and eh? well maybe Laverne his coals can go deep and and catch a long pass I mean he hadn't scored a touchdown yet that's a novel year. fault no <laughs> well, Laverne is for me <laughs> is to the left in the slot on the left side it's Taylor Jacobs to the right yeah. Rod Gardner Portis is the setback Royal the tight end Brunel from his own 39 back to pass feeling some heat dumps it off over the middle of Clinton Portis makes a man miss at the 45 what a move to the midfield strike he faked that man out of his oh, chuck. He can. <laughs> he did. He did. It's laying know? down there on the field right now. You want to replay on that? That was Keith Smith, who was faked out by Portis. What a move! And yeah, it's a well, first down Redskins. Let me tell you what, Portis a could check do that down team. instead of a long one. Huh? Yeah. Well, take what they give you. Ball marked to the midfield stripe with 112 to go, and he got out of bounds. Stop the clock. Portis is a smart player. Well, he is. He's all football player. Balls to the right. Rod Gardner to the left on first and ten at the midfield strike. One twelve to play. Redskins lead at three nothing. In motion, Taylor Jacobs to the left side. Brunel back to pass. Again, feeling some heat. Fires left side. Has Rod Gardner. He can't hold on at the forty yard line. Bringing up a second down with one oh six to play. Ends at the midfield stripe. Gardner to the left, along with Taylor Jacobs to the right. It's Lavernius Coles. Clint Ford is still the setback for Brunel on second and ten. Back to pass from the pocket. Has time. time. Has time. Flares it off looking for Portis. And he threw it away. Had time, but he couldn't find anybody open. And nope. Brunel pays the price that time. One minute to go in the first half. Gerard Long. Gardner to the left. To the right, Lavernius Coles. Empty backfield. Betts deploys to the right side. Brunel has time. Fires over the middle. It's in and out of the hands of Lavernius Coles. Throwing a little bit behind him. Was he got him in the hands, though. Yeah, he threw it behind him. He couldn't. Unbelievable. We need it to be a theme song for this game. Tupa with the punt. Almost blocked. Oh, man, he was in there. James Hall was close. And the punt. Thrash again saves it from going in the end zone. And it's down at the four-yard line. Another great play by James Thrash on special teams. A 46-yard punt. He's, uh, he's played very well on special teams. Second time he's down it inside the five. How about yeah. the punt return down it? 43 seconds to go on their own four-yard line. I guess the answer is yes. Redskins with just one timeout remaining. Well, why would they be sending in all those guys to take a knee down? Look how many guys they have out there. There's 11. Ooh, looks like a lot, doesn't it? That's how slow they're moving. <laughs> is it time for what? For change. Quarterbacks. You're the, you're the man in that. Don't that. Handoff up the middle and hit in the oh. end zone. He gets back to the one yard line. The Redskins are going to call a timeout. They want to score on defense. Marcus Washington with the play. Well, that and there's a flag on the play. There's a celebration flag. Well, Marcus no. Washington thrown on Marcus probably. Washington for dancing in the end zone. Why? Can he, he jump up and down? He wasn't even really doing a dance. He was just 36 seconds to go. The Redskins lead it 3 0 here in the first half. The Lions. Want to still get some. No. They've got three wideouts in the formation. They want to do what? First and ten at their own six. <laughs> and knee. Why don't they, they take, should take it's exactly. first and They should take a knee. Yeah, it's first down. What does he mean after this play? He's going to call a timeout after this play. Okay. They, they're hoping for a bad exchange and the defense can score. Yeah, good. And the Lions send out we their wide receivers. They, they're in a they, passing formation. They're hoping for a mistake. They're hoping for a mistake. Playing into their hands. It's a draw play. The handoff up the middle. The tackle made on the ball carrier. After a gain of three, and the Redskins take a timeout with 29 seconds left in the half. At Ford Field. Now you just kneel down and go to the dressing room. You have nothing. He's got wideouts out there in the field. He's got Oz Hakeem out there. And they went, they went to the sideline to call a play here. And 29 seconds to go. They're ready on second and seven from their own 19. Unless you're going to take they're a shot. From the shotgun. From the shotgun, he's not taking a knee. Take a shot long. Go it long. What he's doing. Here comes the rush up the middle. It's dumped over the middle. It's complete to Kevin Jones, and he runs out of bounds at the 34-yard line with 22 seconds to go. Bryson on the reception, I should say. They used one on that replay. Redskins right. with six DBs in the game. Sean Taylor and Todd France playing center field from the shotgun formation. Joey Harrington. 
From his own 33, back to pass, fires left side. It is complete and out of bounds. Al Sakin gets it to the 49 yard line with 17 seconds. Tie this barn burner up, babe. <laughs> Three nothing. The Redskins lead it with 17 seconds to go on the half. Three man front. Harrington under center. Quick drop, fires it. It's complete uh -oh. to Steven Alexander. He's got running room to the 40 and out of bounds. They're in field goal territory. And now. a flag on a late hit out of bounds. A flag on 22. They could also throw in a pick, even though he only has four picks on the year. Only got five turnovers as a team this year. Well, they're in field goal territory. That's for certain. Going to give it a shot in the, in the end zone, I'm telling you. From the 22-yard line, first and 10. From hey, the better shotgun. get somebody over here. Redskins faking a blitz. Here they come. Harrington has time. <laughs> throwing. He throws it out of bounds. Throws it out of bounds to the right side with six seconds remaining. They well, he just on. made a bad read. He had come at the 30-yard line, a 40-yard attempt by Hanson. I mean, you can understand the Lions offense struggling because they're playing a number one defense. But you don't understand the Redskins playing Red against a 29th ranked defense. Redskins have everybody up on that line of scrimmage. The holder is Harris. The kick by Hanson to tie it. It is good. It is good. The slow indication by the ref. Well, the Lions set up way back on their own 10-yard line for the kickoff. They take a running start, don't they? Yeah, they run out of gas about the 40. <laughs> <laughs> Hanson's going to run up 20 yards on the kickoff. He approaches the football, and there it is. little punch into the hands of Brian Kozlowski. Going around the left side, he is tackled, and that is the end of the first half. First half of play in the books here at Ford Field. The score, the Redskins 3. The Lions 3. Back with our halftime show on the WJFK Redskins Radio Network. Jim of 15, 50 yards. Okay. The Lions were 4-10, uh, 40% on third down conversion. So Jason Hansen getting set to tee it up here to start the second half. Liddell Betts and James Thrash deep. A 3-3 score. Both teams have 120 yards. <laughs> is that something? And those are the high-paid guys yeah. on the football field, aren't they? The offensive guys? How are the Lions four and three? That's what I don't get. Yeah, boy, I tell you what. So we, Hanson getting set to tee it up. We're well, not supposed to find out who is the worst team in the league. You're supposed to try to play see who's better. <laughs> they, and these two teams, <laughs> Matt Miller was telling us that. He says, I can't believe this. <laughs> I'm blaming on Matt Miller now. <laughs> did he say that? You were yeah, standing there. Yeah, he did say that. Oh, okay. And you agreed with him. Yeah. Well, I didn't agree with him. I went to men's room. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, you went to the ladies' room. I saw you. <laughs> the run up and the kick by Hanson's a low line drive, and James Thrash takes it at his 10, 15, 20. To the 25, he is hit, still on his feet, dragging ahead and down at the 29 yard line. So tough luck for Sapna Bot. Redskins kick a field goal. Pierre will win 50 Mega Millions coupons, 100 if they score a touchdown. Plus, the Redskins Radio Fantasy Day to enter. Visit WJFK.com. The current Mega Millions jackpot is 90 million. Portis is set back behind Mark Brunel. First and 10 Redskins at their own 29 yard line. Gardner's in motion to the left. The handoff to Portis has a hole across the 35 to the 40. Still on his feet. 45 up to the midfield strike. Clinton Portis driving ahead. And if he's got 20 yards there, I think he's got 100. Well, that's what that play they call 50 gut right up the middle running Portis. Boy, he hit that middle. That hole opened up, and he, he has quick feet, good feet. Got to drive this ball into the end zone. Yeah. 101 yards for Portis. Well, why throw it whenever you got a runner like that? I mean, you know, they're not going to do anything passing anyway, so just run it. Coles and Gardner to the right. First and 10 Redskins at the 50. Gardner in motion to the left. Portis to the right side now on the give. Across the 45 to the 40. Has some running room. Makes a man miss at the 30. Inside the 30 to the 29. Another 20-yard run. And they're just chewing up huge chunks of yardage here to start the second half. Well, he can, he can cut and go, can he? Clinton Portis. Man. Two 122 big yards now. Yeah. He might look going for 200 hey, today. They're almost in field goal position. They are. I at, said almost. You never oh know. Get a little closer. <laughs> at the 29-yard line, you got to get a touchdown sooner or later. Hey, I'll get one here, guys. Coles and Gardner are to the left. <laughs> I have confidence. Royal the tight end. On the left side.
left side. Gardner in motion to the right. Redskins moving right to left in front of us. Portis on the cutback, but he didn't cut away from the tackler. And the defensive end, Corey Redding, I think, make, made the stop. Earl. I thought it was Earl Holmes, wasn't it? I don't know. Stay far away. James Davis, a second-year linebacker out of West Virginia there as well. They lost a yard on that play. Second and 11 coming up. They were laying, they were laying in the weeds for Portis that time. Yeah, that was a good hit. Good defense by Detroit that time. Redskins' first possession here in the second half, driving nicely behind their running game. Robert Royal in motion. The delay give, handoff to Portis, looking for some running room. Hit at the line of scrimmage. He gets back to the original line of scrimmage, which was the 29. You know, he missed his hole that time. It opened up right over the middle. Big hole over the middle. And he, he cut to go off tackle and he made the wrong move. Easy for me to say. Because he's a heck of a Because we're looking player. down on yeah. it from 100 yards up in the air. <laughs> a spaceship. <laughs> and he's right there. And nobody hitting us. Another third down situation for the Redskins. To the right, Lavernius Coles. To the left, Rod Gardner. Cooley is in motion. There's an offsides call. On the defensive end, if he's going to throw, he's going to throw Brunel down. That should be a flag on roughing the quarterback that time, but they don't call it. The Redskins bench wants it. There's a flag down. Two of eight. Two of eight. He could he could have hurt Brunel on that. He was way offside. Third and five at the 24. 12 minutes to go in the third quarter. Redskins first possession of the second half. Gardner is to the right. Portis is the setback on third and five. Coles is in motion. Now backtracks to the left. Here comes the rush. Brunel over the middle. Has Lavernius Coles for the first down right over the middle to the 16-yard line. And a quick rhythm pass. A quick rhythm pass. Finally. Boom. Brock Marion rhythm. tackled him, but that was a nice throw by Mark. Right over the middle. Right in between two defenders. Now the Redskins are going to load up with some tight ends in there again. Clinton Portis over 100 yards here in this ball game. About time to get him wide. Three tight ends to the right side. Cooley motions. And Portis carries. Ran into a wall. Got about a yard down to the 15-yard line. Back. Good start for the Redskins on the opening possession of the second half. Coles is the lone wideout. Again, they go triple tight end. Portis the lone setback. Second and nine at the Lions 15. In motion, Chris Cooley to the right. Brunel, the delay give. Portis wants to throw. Looking to the end zone. Looking for Coles. Touchdown! Touchdown, Redskins! Portis to Coles, Lavernius' first touchdown of the year, and it is a big one. <laughs> Lavernius Coles. Yeah, that was a touchdown pass. Portis to Coles. Still nice, nice ball. Yeah, that, nice that touch ball. on it. Oh, they needed that one. That'll, that ought to help the uh, offense a lot. I just told y'all. Did I just say score. score on this play? You did. Yeah. Drive. But then you started doubting. That's oh, good news to our man, Pierre. <laughs> because the Redskins scored a touchdown. Maybe he's going to win that $90 million. Well, It's about time. It's been all year. <laughs> it's been all year. Yeah. Is that drive all Clinton Portis? Yep. Run and throw. The extra point by Ola Kimron is delivered. And the Redskins take the 10-0 lead. No, 10-3. to 10-3, excuse me. On their opening possession of the second half, you know, Clinton Portis is the man right now. He is the man. He has been the man. Portis, the touchdown pass to Lavernius Coles. Coles' first touchdown reception. Yeah. Welcome back to Fort Field. Larry Michael with Sonny Jurgensen and Sam Huff. The scoring drive summary brought to you by a hot lotto. Seven plays, 71 yards, a 15-yard touchdown pass. Portis to Coles gives the Redskins the 10-3 lead. Recap brought to you by D.C. Lottery's new million-dollar game. Play, score, and win with hot lotto. And the run-up and the kick by Ola Cameron is coming up way, way short. Eddie Drummond takes it on the move at the 20. Goes around the left side. He's got running room. James Thrash tackles him at the 47-yard line out of bounds. But again, the short kickoff by the Redskins backfiring. It's not on purpose. Believe me. He is. 
<laughs> Excuse me? Asa Hakeem and Roy Williams to the right of the formation. First and 10 Detroit at their own 48. Now nobody in the backfield. Schlesinger and Kevin Jones split out to the left side. Harrington, short drop, looking over the middle, through the hands of the intended receiver, almost intercepted by Sean Taylor. Had his hands on it. Yep. Well, today's game is being brought to you by the all-new Chrysler Pacifica, the most powerful vehicle in its class. 10-3 the score, Redskins leading. 10-14 to play in the third quarter. That's a big, big play right there. Redskins almost got the turnover. Hmm. Sean Taylor would have been gone. Lions with only five turnovers all year. I formation behind Joey Harrington. And now the single setback is Jones. Pitch left side to Jones. Has some blockers. Redskins defense is there. Fred Smoot. And the first man on the scene was Ryan Clark. And he just tucked his shoulder in there with a nice lick. Yep. He's a good player, isn't he? He, he is. really is. He's, uh, he's making his football team. He's really helped his football team. He's All been, the injuries in the secondary, he has stepped up. And he stepped in there and he's done his job. Third down and nine for the Detroit Lions. This is a big big down right here for the defense. At their own 49-yard line. Lions to a four for ten in the first half on third down conversion. Forty percent. Here's, here's where the sack comes in. Three wide to the right. Harrington from the shotgun formation. Gets the direct snap. Has time. Fires right. Has a man. It's Ooh. complete. It's Asa Keem, but he's going to be short of the first down. Sean Springs tripped him up, and then Sean Taylor and Fred Smoot came in and stopped him short of the first down by five yards. Yeah, well, he threw it short. You know, that's the receiver's fault. He's got to get up over the marker. He's got to know where that marker is. He ran a five-yard pattern instead of a 10-yard pattern. Nick Harris into punt again, and James Thrash stands at his own 12. Now, you can't make mistakes on this special team. Is fair catch it? Let the offense take over. Snapper is Jody Littleton. There is the snap and the punt by Harris. It's going to come down short and Thrash is going to let it bounce and it takes a Redskin bounce. Keeps bouncing and is picked up by one of the Redskins on the move. Flying up the field, up past the midfield stripe. What a heads up play by the Redskins. As that ball was bouncing backwards, Lamar Marshall took it on the move and tacked on another 20 yards. Well, what a big play that was by special teams. Lamar Marshall, a linebacker, Boy, makes a big Talk play. about a smart play. It was. That's one of the funniest plays I've ever seen. The Cover ball took a Redskin bounce, bouncing back towards the Lions, and Marshall Receiver scooped it up and went. For a fair catch. However, the ball was touched by the kicking team before it was recovered, making a legal advance. First down. Details on today's game and all the games around the league. Be sure to check the sports section of tomorrow's Washington Post. If you don't get it, you don't get it. That's 18 awesome. yards of the punt, 24 yards of the return, so negative six net punt that time by the Lions. Redskins have possession, first and 10 at the Lions 47 yard line. Now you got to do something with it. So. You know, another touchdown, Sonny, here, and then, then you would say they have a large lead, huh? Two side of the ball, Sonny. Get them moving. They got a large lead. Now. The receiving, team, the receiving team is not allowed to advance it or return the ball to the 34-yard line. Washington's ball. So they bring it back. Down. So the referees reconsidered what happened that time, and they're going to move the ball back. I, know if the Redskins no, I didn't see any. They did touch it. They, they did, did touch, touch it. it. So the Redskins get penalized by a bad call by the refs. Pitch left side. Clinton Port is trying to string it out. Tacklers are there. Bounces off of one. Back to the line of scrimmage. Still on his feet. A lot of run and no gain really. Maybe a gain of one. Could have been a loss of four. GMRI scoreboard elsewhere. Pittsburgh 24-3 leading Philadelphia in the fourth. Tampa Bay 28. KC 24 in the third. It's Oakland 17-14 over Carolina in the third. Miami 12-3 over the Cardinals in the third. It's Buffalo 17-10 leading the Jets in Cincinnati 16. Dallas 3. Scoreboard brought to you by your Washington area McDonald's restaurants. So Clinton lost a yard after all that, so it's second and 11 at their own 33. Portis the setback. Rod Gardner in motion to the left. Coles is to the right. The hand off to Portis again, trying the left side behind Rod Gardner. He gets across the 35. They rolled into the back of Rod Gardner's legs that time. Earl Holmes making a good stop. And a flag on the play. And a flag on the play. Late flag on the play. And they're pointing towards one of the corners, Dre Bly. 
That's good. Give him a first down. All right. We'll see what it is here. Unnecessary. After the play was dead. Taunting on the offense, number 26. Portis. <laughs> He threw the ball at the defender, I guess, is the call. Third and 24 from their own 20-yard line for the Redskins. Chris Cooley is in motion to the left. Offsides again. They can't stay out of the game and let the players play the game. Third and 29 at their own 15. Brunel, straight gift to Portis. Looking for some room on the left side. Has Ray Brown there. He's got it to the 25. Getting his punter a little bit of kicking room there. Portis sweeping left up to the 25-yard line. It's going to bring up a fourth down, 640 and counting in the third quarter. The Redskins lead the Lions 10-3. Well, I'll tell you what. If you're on that punting team now, you've got to make sure you make your block. You close down. Don't let anybody come through there to block this punt. They're not going to block it. Well, they don't, they're not even trying to. They got four people out on there return. Tupa, a low spiral Ooh. angling away from Drummond. That's a nice kick. Hits it to 20. Drummond loses it. Gets it at the 17-yard line and is tackled out of bounds by James Thrash. Tackles him out of bounds and some of the fans want a <laughs> and late hit penalty. again. Yeah. It, the Lions 10-3. Larry Michael with Sonny Jerkinson and Sam Huff. Redskins have the Lions pinned back on their own 19-yard line. First and 10 for Detroit. <laughs> After the nice punt by Tom Tupa. Yeah, he aimed that one to go out of bounds, and basically it did. Keeping it away from Drummond, who's a dangerous return man. That was a nice move. Mm -hmm. So Harrington brings him to the line, trailing by seven. Flanked out to the left is the running back, Artos Pinner. Single setback is Kevin Jones. Harrington's going to screen it out to Jones on the right side. Has a blocker, but Sean Springs there on the stop, and it is Marcus Washington coming in and wrapping up the ball carrier. Boy, Springs forced that back inside with his presence there on the outside and the Redskins pursuit wrapped up Kevin Jones. Well, you know, with all the penalties they've had for hitting guys that's out of bounds, they've had two today. You almost get a little gun shy. Right. Of the way you hit down there. But the, the Redskins defense, you, you watch them play and they really position themselves well. They do. The guy is supposed to turn the play in. Is they are turning the play in? Second and seven lines at their own 22 in motion. Roy Williams. The handoff goes to Pinner on the right side. He is hit and drives ahead across the 25 to the 26. Came close to a first down. No. He's got three, two, three yards to go. Sean Taylor came in there to lay the lumber on him. The Lions running backs haven't had a fumble since November of 02. Neither one of these teams have turned the ball over. They don't go any place with the ball. How can they fumble it? <laughs> Sean Bryson comes in, replacing Artos Pinner on a third and three situation at their own 26. Clock running. Less than five minutes to go. 4.59 and counting here in the third quarter. Redskins lead at 10-3. Here's the key right here. Coming Steven, up. Steven Alexander <laughs> out to the left side of the formation. Harrington, straight drop, has time, throws over the middle. It's incomplete. Out of the hands of Oz Hakeem. Hit him right in the hands. Yeah. Drop. That's a drop. I'll tell you what. Taylor. Sean Taylor dropped him. Sean Taylor's the guy that hit him, and Oz Hakeem so. is still down. Oh, he's down. Took him right in the midsection. It's like a linebacker hitting you with uh, safety speed. I'll tell you, man, he got drilled. Clark hit him. Oh, Ryan, Clark. It was Ryan oh. Clark. It was Ryan Clark. Yeah. And that's big difference. Ryan Clark, Ooh. 200 pounds out to 230 that yeah. Taylor packs. If Taylor would have hit him, he wouldn't be getting up. So another punt for Detroit. Great defense. It is a punt-a-thon here today. And James Thrash stands at his own 34-yard line. Yeah, just don't make any mistakes. Get up there and catch the ball. Walt Harris faking like he's coming off the edge. Here they, they come. Sean Taylor at Sean Blocked Springs. It. Blocked it. It's loose. Big pileup. Picked up by Walt Harris. He's into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. Oh, what a big play by the Redskins special teams. Boy, they put the pressure on. There was four guys in there. And it was Walt Harris who waltzed in for the score. Got to have a big play on special team. They had it there. Yes, they did. They came in and blocked that kick. That's the first block putt by the Redskins since November of 2002. 
And they were due, weren't they? They were due is right. Sean Springs might have gotten a hand on that one. A couple guys got in there quick. Taylor Jacobs was in there. Might have been Taylor Jacobs who actually got the block. Taylor Jacobs and Todd Franz met at the football. I think Taylor got a hand on it. The conversion by Ola Kimron is up and into the net. It is good. 17-3. The Redskins lead it. And a romp. 432 <laughs> to go in the third quarter. Up by 14. This is Redskins Radio. Full-size Nissan Titan. 305 horsepower V. And the touchdown by Walt Harris means that GTSI and HP will donate another HP product to another local public school through the GTSI and HP Touchdowns for Technology program. Larry Michael with Sonny Jurgensen and Sam Huff. 4.32 to go in quarter number three. 17-3. The Redskins leading the Lions. And I'm guessing here, but this is probably the biggest what, Redskin lead of the year, isn't it? Watch this kickoff. We've been, this has been exciting. They make kickoffs exciting anymore. Gimmer, oh. the run up in the boot. Finally, he gets a foot into it. It's coming down at the 12. Angles it to the right. Drummond gets it. Hit by Mike Sellers. Whoa. And obliterated at the 23-yard line. He swallowed him up, Sam. Nobody touched Mike Sellers. He just drilled the kickoff return, man. He almost planted him. Special teams yeah. had to match the special teams of the Detroit today, and uh, I think they've done that. James Thrash had a great game on special teams, a couple down inside the five. He had one at the two, I thought one, and one at the four-yard line. I'm celebrating that touchdown with a cookie. <laughs> <laughs> As Hakeem to the left, to the right, it is Roy Williams on first and 10 Lions at their own 23. Harrington play action fake, looking deep down the middle, mm. looking for Roy Williams way over his head. Oh. Sean Springs was with him. That was uncatchable. A little push in the back, though. He might have gotten away with it, Sean Springs. A bad. He did. My question before the game with Earl was exactly that, about they're letting him get away with it. Second and 10 at the 23, Harrington fires left. It's deflected, knocked down at the line of scrimmage. It was Cornelius Griffin getting a big hand up there. He's had a great game against Sam. This guy's yeah. playing Pro Bowl football. Noble was in there too. I'm not sure. Brandon Noble was right next to him, but yeah. it looked by the way they reacted that it was Cornelius Griffin yeah, who's got, got a couple sacks today as well. Oh, yeah. he's uh, he's He has been the big man up front. There's no doubt about it. He loves to play this game. And he is really paying off. 17-3 the score. The Redskins leading the Lions with 4.17 to go in the third. Here's uh, where you need another big play by the defense. Third and 10 at their 23 from the shotgun. Harrington has time. Crossing route to Roy Williams. He is tackled immediately. Fumble on the play. And Fred Smoot picks it up. They're going to say it was down, down by contact, but that'll force a punt. Redskins defense, very aggressive. Boy, they're good. They have confidence in what they're doing now. They have it going. And Joey Harrington getting booed off the field right now. And rightfully so. Well, these receivers are not running deep enough patterns to pick up the first down. They can't all run 10-yard patterns. Somebody has to run on each, catch it, and then they run for the first down. Oh, is that That's it? what they're calling for. Sean Taylor made that hit. It's not working then. That's right. James Thrash at his own 34 awaits the punt from Nick Harris. Would they dare come again? Last time they blocked it. Not as much pressure this time. Ooh. Oh, Todd Franz, I think he might have got a piece of it. Hits at the 40, bounces backwards again. Redskins rock Cartwright running out of the way. And the bad break for Detroit. It's going to get marked at the 48-yard line, a 24-yard punt. I think Todd Franz might have got a hand yeah, on I mean, it. Look at the field position for Sonny's offense. GMRI scoreboard. Yeah. Pittsburgh yeah. leading Phil in trouble in paradise. Uh-huh. Always happens. Seventh game of the year, eighth game of the year. That's when he has a breakdown. Thanks to the Purple Heart for the scoreboard. First and ten Redskins at their own 48-yard line. Rod Gardner in motion to the right. And the handoff, Clinton Portis sweeping the left side, trying to get around the corner. Cuts inside the 50 to the 45 of the Lions. Purple Heart, give him a call to donate, 888-414-GIVE. Did we tell you how many yards Clinton Portis has now? We, I don't think we've given you an update on that. But before that run right there, he had 133 yards. He now has 141 yards. 
Throwing up some yardage today. 250 and counting. Redskins up by 14, 17 to 3. And this look is where our, this is where offensively you should have some fun. You got it. You know your defense can stop them. Just go out and have some fun. Cut it loose. Gardner in motion to the left. Hand off to Portis. Sweeping right this time. Inside, outside. Bounces it out to the 40s. Got a first down. Boy, he tried to duck it inside, then bounced it out. Found a little hole. Enough for the first down to the Lions. 39-yard line. And Portis slow getting up. Earl Holmes, middle linebacker, making the stop on him. But I'll tell you what. He can fake in and go out. He's sitting down, so I'm not... He might, might be cramping up a little, Sam. Might be cramping up a little. He's running He's okay. Up. He's okay. He's getting up and going off. Clinton Portis trying to stretch those calves out. So bring Liddell Betts off the bench. 25 times he's carried the ball. 25 for 146 yards. He's running off now, so that's good. The most he's carried this year in one game is 36 times. That puts him over 800 yards at the midway point of the season. At, in Chicago, he carried 36 times. Third all-time on the Redskins record book. Yep. Block winding, 208 and counting in the third quarter. Portis off the field, and he's going to be okay. Bets in. Redskins go with Cornelius, excuse me, Lavernius Coles to the right, to the left, Rod Gardner. First and 10 at the Lions 40. Handoff bets right up the middle. Trying to find some running room. Burrows ahead across the 35 to the 34. Nice run by Liddell Betts. Yeah, he's not a bad runner. Averaging 3.7 a carry this year. He's no Clinton Porters, but he's not a bad runner. It's good to give Clinton a, uh, a break. Minute 30 to go in the third. That's a six-yard gain on first down for Betts. Second and four. Redskins using clock now. Brown completely out of the game right now. Goals is to the left. Rock Gardner is to the right. The tight end, Robert Royal, in motion. And the give again to Betts. Cuts it up over Corey Raymer, the center, down to the 33. I don't know why they're running at those two big guys in there. And they can just get what they want off tackle. Yep. 17-3 is the score. Redskins trying to pound it away right now. Well, they're using clock. They got a lead. The other team can't score. Good time to work on the passing game, guys. <laughs> there he goes. He's back in there now. He's, he's feeling comfortable with the lead. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Have we had a lead like this? And we're not, not used year. to it, right? 35 seconds to go in the third quarter. Redskins third and three at the 33 of Detroit. Coles is in motion to the right. There Ronaldo we the go. pass. Looking over the middle. Incomplete. Incomplete. Intended for Lavernius Coles right at the first down marker. And the Redskins. Boy, it's going to be a long. He can't even kick off that far. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he didn't like it on the tee. He can kick it from down there. Can he? All right. Two plays yeah. the holder from 51 yards out. The snap is good. The spot is good. It's long enough. It hits the crossbar. It hits the crossbar. It was not long enough. It died when it got to the field goal post. You were a little ahead of yourself. A little bit. A little bit. Of Oh, it's not out of the. It's not out of touch. Long way to go. 18 seconds to go in the third quarter. Kevin Jones the setback. First and ten, Detroit. Their own 41-yard line. Tight end Alexander in motion. Play action fake Harrington. Looking left the whole way. Still looking. Fires left, and it's on the ground. It's incomplete. He threw it around four Redskins. Roy Williams was the intended receiver. That ball underthrown. They, the Redskins have now figured out who the dangerous man is. They're putting a lot of people on Roy Williams. Tearing it up. David Kirkus, a two-year man out of Grand Valley State, in as a wide receiver on second and 10 at their own 41. The handoff up the middle. Gaining some yardage is Arto Spinner, hit from behind by Brandon Noble after a gain of six. That's going to be the end of the third quarter with the score. Redskins 17, Lions 3. Back after these words from Wachovia. This is Redskins Radio. This year, you'll have an annual checkup. Even your... Score was tied at halftime, 3-3. 14 unanswered points in the third, Sonny. They have 14 first downs. The Lions have 11. They have 3 for 11 on third down conversions. Lions 4 for 13. Only 215 yards of offense, 142 rushing. 73 passing. The Lions have 40 rushing, 
114 passing. Uh, no sacks against the Redskins, no interceptions, no fumble. No turnovers there. That's good. Seven penalties, though, and they've had the ball 24 minutes and 30 seconds to 20-30 of the line. 17-3 they lead. Brunel, 6 of 17. Portis, 25 carries, 146 yards. Coles, four catches, 46 yards. Gardner, still with no catch. As Larry has told you, he's had one in every game he's played as a Redskin. Well, third down and three now for... It's right at their own 47-yard line from the shotgun, Joey Harrington. Has a setback, Kevin Jones. Back to pass, feeling he hit up the middle, throws, incomplete. Nobody close to that football. I don't know who he was throwing Fred, to. Fred Smoot was close to it. Sean just, Springs is down on the play, face down on the turf. Now he's getting up. Just a... And he's okay, so that's going to be another punt. Sean Taylor, in fact, might have hit Sean Springs on a collision going yeah. for the football. Boy, I'll tell you what, he hits anything that moves. <laughs> another does. punt for Nick Harris. And it seems like he's been out there all afternoon. He's had more plays than Harrington. It's his 10th punt. Got as many punts as they do first downs. Punt by Harris. That'll go in the end zone. If James Thrash is going to fake out the receiving team. It hits at the four and takes a bounce back again. I thought it would go in the end zone. Is Phil Mickelson punting this ball or what? <laughs> Everything <laughs> spins back. <laughs> Time on the field with the score. Redskins 17, the Lions 3. Back after this on the WJFK Redskins Radio Network. Or to shop online, log on to Redskins.com. First and ten Redskins at their own four-yard line. The long wide receiver is Taylor Jacobs. A handoff to Clinton Portis. Looking for some room. Sweeping the right side. Has room at the ten. Dives ahead of the 14-yard line. Boy, he gets you lean and then cuts back. He's he tough to stop. He, fa he fakes in like he's going to run. And if that hole's closed, he just whips outside so easily. I've never seen anybody move out there like that. That was all Clinton Portis. It was. I mean, the play was shut off at the point where they were trying to run it. Yeah, you can call it dip in and out because he dips in and outside he goes. And he gets a block out there. He's a yard short of the first down, second and one at the 13. Their own 13 for the Redskins. Taylor Jacobs is to the left. Portis the setback. 14 minutes to go in the game. The Redskins lead at 17-3. The gift to Clinton cuts it back. Hit at the line of scrimmage and drives ahead maybe for the first down. He needed to get just outside the 19-yard line for the first down. He got the first. All rights to this broadcast are reserved. Any rebroadcast, recording, retransmission, or other use of this broadcast without the express written permission of the Washington Redskins, the NFL, and WJFK is prohibited. Is that quick enough for you, Sam? Well, you read fast. I can't keep up with you. First and 10 Redskins. Yeah, in 15 minutes, things can change. <laughs> <laughs> Rod right, Gardner and Coles back in the game. They're both to the... Left side of the formation. Portis remains the tailback. First and 10 at their own 15. And the gift to Portis again. Try on the right side. He's hit behind the line of scrimmage and dragged down for maybe a loss of one of the plays. Sean Rogers got him and bulldogged him down. That hole opened up on the back side. Now they're playing. They're overshifting the defensive line, the lines are, to the tight end side. And that's where Portis likes to run to the right. So they're overshifting the defense now. So pretty soon you'll see him cut back left. 20 carries for Clinton Portis. No, more than that. 28. 28 carries for 157 yards. Second and 10 from their own 15 in motion. Robert Morrell, the tight end. And again, they give it to Portis right up the middle. And again this time, no running room. Yeah, he put a lot of guys up there. Stopped at the line of scrimmage with 12 and a half minutes to play. The Redskins up 17 to 3. It's using clock, using clock. Yep, they are doing that. 12 21 to go in this game. Third and 10 at their own 15 yard line. Well, it's nice to see Redskins leading 17 to 3, isn't it? Yes, it is. You've got to keep it up. Clinton Porter scoring out. Now, third down and long. Some confusion on the Redskins sideline for personnel. Maybe they're going to play with 10. Yeah, they've only got 10 men on the field. It's all right. They don't need anybody else. Just run the ball. They bring the wide receiver in tight to block for Brunel, who's going to call the timeout. Yeah, he recognized the fact. The first first down. class power. I, I mean, you know, it's, it, it's class car. Uh -huh. Third and 11 at their own 14-yard line after the timeout taken by Mark Brunel. Under center. 
Delay give to Liddell Betts. They're going to try to run it, and he is squashed by Sean Rogers for a loss of two on that play. They didn't want to take any chances backed up like that, make a mistake, force something yep. just keep on the third clock. and long. Just keep the clock running. There you go. And the clock, not yet a factor, but it soon will be. 11 and a half minutes to play in the game. Redskins up by 14, 17-3. It's been a factor for the Lions since they played the national anthem. <laughs> yeah. Eddie Drummond stands at his own 45-yard line. Tupa into punt just inside his end zone. Kick it out of bound again. Now they're dropping another guy deep, so maybe some trickery in store here. Drummond's going to let it know. He's going to take it at the 47, stumbles, and gets tackled at the 47-yard line. Kerry Campbell making yeah. his way down. Linebacker making that tackle. With the stop. No return. No yardage in the return. 39-yard punt. The Redskins lead at 17-3. 11-0-3 to play in the game. This is Redskins Radio. How do they? 17-3. 11-0-3 to play in the game. Lions with good field position. First and 10 at their own 46-yard line. Handoff goes to Kevin Jones. Breaks a tackle at the 47 to the 50 into Redskins territory. Down to the 48-yard line. He does a lot of dancing. He doesn't, yeah. he doesn't run now like he used to at Virginia Tech. All the details on today's game and games around the league. Be sure to check the sports section of tomorrow's Washington Post. Kevin Jones picked up about seven yards on that carry. Not a bad run for him. Like Sonny said, out of the University of Virginia, six foot, two hundred and twenty-five no. pounds. I think Virginia, Virginia Tech. Tech. I'm sorry, Virginia, Virginia Tech. Tech. Yeah, six foot, two hundred twenty-five, fourth year. Clock running, two fifty-five. The handoff up the middle to Jones, and he is hit by Sean Jones Taylor. Hit. You could hear it pop, couldn't you? Jones, with about twenty yards, is now the leading rusher for the Lions here this afternoon. The handoff went to Bryson, and Sean Taylor made that hit. And he picked up the first down in two carries. He picks up the first down. Tune into the Redskins Radio Post Game Show for the America Online Star of the Game, Charles Mann and Kim Meese. Tell you how you can win a Redskins Radio Fantasy Day and a trip for two to the Pro Bowl in Hawaii. The America Online Star of the Game. Cornelius Griffin going off the field. Uh, little, I think he got a little nick that time. Came up. Uh, I think he might just be a little tired. He's been really laying it out there. A little dinged. That is the Lions' first first down of the second half. First and ten of the Redskins' 41. The ball is fired. Right side. It's complete to Swinton. Short of the first down. He's tackled by Walt Harris. And Antonio Pierce. It's looking a little too easy for Detroit right here with nine and a half minutes to play in the game. Well, they, they've backed off from blitzing a little bit. So, you know, they're playing a little cautious right now. So you got to go to the strength of your defense, and that's put pressure on Joey Harrington. Well, they got to get him in third and long yeah. situations to come after him, and uh, yeah, second and one. Yeah, this is not a position you like yeah. for your defense to be in right here. Here's and off up the middle, Kevin Jones hit at the line of scrimmage, spins away to the 30-yard line. I think he's got the first down. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, he took some hits, though. He got the first down. A lot of white shirts around him, and that clock is moving, 8.54, 8.53. In this game, today's game brought to you by Hot Lotto, D.C. Lottery's new million-dollar game. Play, score, and win with Hot Lotto. First and 10, Lions at the Redskins' 31-yard line. 8-20 and counting. The Redskins lead it by 14, 17-3. to three. Going for win, number three. Step closer to 500, you would hope. Two wide to the left, Az Hakeem and Reggie Swinton. Double tight end set. The setback is Kevin Jones on first and 10 at the Redskins 30. Play action fake Harrington. Fires it out left side. Has a man at Swinton. Breaks a tackle and he's delivered to the turf at the 19-yard line. And it's a first down. Boy, he got around uh, Fred Smoot that time. Ryan Clark injured on the play. I think he fell on his arm. Fell on the turf right on his arm and hurt his shoulder or his arm. Cincinnati anybody? beat Dallas 26-3 this afternoon. Miami trailing Arizona 17-5, 17-15 uh, in the fourth. Here at 17-3, the Redskins leading by 14. And Swinton made Fred Smoot whiff. Yep. Yes, he did. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? First and 10 at the 20 of the Redskins for Detroit. 7.30 to go in the game. Harrington, play action. From the pocket, looking into the end zone. Has a man. It's incomplete. Overthrown. Down there, Oz Hakeem, and it was Sean Taylor defending. Now, he, you, you know, he makes such a difference in this defense to be a rookie. They play so well with him. I mean, he's stopped. 
Second little, and ten at the 20 of the Redskins for Detroit. And they little, trail by 14. A little force that time. Griffin back in the ball game now. Trying to make something happen. Hand off to Kevin Jones. Right up now it's uh, Bryson and he's grabbed by the jersey and pulled down by the Redskins at the line of scrimmage. Crowd doesn't like that call. Well, no. you know, it's understandable. They, they, they want to throw the ball and get back in the game. Fans know what's going on. Ronaldo went on the stop. John Taylor, I think, knocked the breath out of himself a little bit. Ryan Clark and Sean Taylor, the two leading tacklers for the Redskins, 14 tackles between them. Yeah, they, they've really been playing great, both of them. And Ryan Clark back in the game, shaking off that injury. Third and eight at the Redskins' 18-yard line for Detroit. Redskins up by 14. Harrington has some time. Spins away to his left. There's a flag on the play. Another flag on the play. Harrington <laughs> throws it through the end zone in that's, the crowd. And clipping against Detroit. That's going to move him back 15 yards. Redskins uh, are going to decline the penalty, I would think, oh, unless they want to push him out of field goal range. Oh, I, I would take him back 15 yards. So you kind of, they, they called clipping. 37 still to play. They have an advantage. They've seen this team play before. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Miller's not going to. Matt Miller's going to be angry at you. He's the general manager of this team. I think he's going to be angrier at his team than Sonny. Yeah. Yeah. So a third and 18 situation for the Lions. The Redskins 28. Here's the very key play. You put the blitz on or do you lay back? I think you come after him. I do too. That's what the Redskins do better. The best, so they don't look the like, they don't, they're not lined up that way. Well, they're saying. No, they're not coming. They're going to lay back. Now, three wide to the left. Harrington back to pass. Steps up. Fires. It's incomplete. Oh, Threw up behind Sean Bryson coming out of the backfield right over the middle. Bad pass yeah. by Harrington. Bad, bad, bad. bad decision. He may have been able to run and pick up a lot of, a lot of yardage, and he didn't do it. He did it in the first or in the second quarter. He ran and picked up a first down. I think Mariucci is considering going for it right now, and why not with 6.33 to go down by two touchdowns? A field goal really doesn't help you much. Exactly. Service, they design to your needs and treat everyone like an individual. They've created a home theater system for me that is state-of-the-art. Visit one of their nine convenient store locations in the D.C. metro area. For locations, log on to myrmco.com. we got to make sure that Williams is covered, and he's out here on Sean Springs. So uh, yeah, Taylor will take him deep. Fourth and 18 for Harrington from the shotgun. Looking for six into the end zone. It is intercepted. Intercepted by the Redskins. The pick by Fred Smoot. Fred Smoot's got the football. That is only the sixth turnover by the Lions yep. all year, and that is a biggie. Well, he threw well, it into the corner. This. Yeah. Should he have intercepted that ball? I'm sorry? Should he have intercepted that ball? Absolutely. The, well, they get it on the 20 instead of the 35. Well, that's okay, cost though. Him 15 that's yards. okay, though, but if, you know, it's cost him 15 yards, but you got the ball. You can't take a chance if if he... You knock it down. Yeah, but he... You knock it down. No, no, no. There's incentives in this game. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to call that the picture-perfect play of the game, brought to you by NFL Replay from Comcast Cable. No timeouts, no commercials, no cost, no kidding. High formation behind Mark Brunel, the Redskins. We kind of taste win number three right now with 6.25 to go in the game. Rock Gardner is in motion. A handoff to Portis, looking right, puts his head down and buries it for a yard. Just keep it going, to keep that clock going. Keep it going. He'll be under five minutes. Yeah, five, six it's, minutes here in the second. Will the Redskins throw it on third down? Yes. It's not third down yet. I know. I'm just trying to set the scene here, Sam. Yeah. Second and nine on the 21-yard line. Redskins lead at 14, excuse me, 17 to three. Got some scores, some finals elsewhere. Pittsburgh has knocked Philadelphia from the ranks of the unbeaten. 27 to three, the final there. First team to do. To play two undefeated teams this late this season. GRI scoreboard. Cincinnati defeated Dallas 26 to 3. The Redskins the second and eight at their own 22. Hand off to Clinton again. Hit in the backfield and delivered to the turf. Loose ball down there, but the whistle blew. Chris Samuels went diving for it. Elsewhere in the fourth quarter, looks like Buffalo is going to beat the Jets 22 to 10 right now in the fourth. Whoa. It's Tampa Bay 34 31 over KC in the fourth. 24 17. North Turner's Oakland Raiders looking for a win at Carolina. And it's Arizona leading Miami 17-15. The scoreboard brought to you by 
your local Washington area McDonald's restaurants. Well, let's see what happens here now. You got a third and nine. Do you put it in the air or do you run it and punt it? He said yes. What? Sonny said yes. Put it in the air? That's what Sonny said. Or run a draw. Think, I, I whatever you want to do. Run a draw run, play. Or... Run, run it and punt it. Brunel gives it, it off. The running back bets. Sweeping left side. Jumps over Derek Dockery and knocked out of bounds. You wanted to keep that clock running yes. at the 24. Okay. Run it and punt it. Run it and punt it. 452 to get back in this game. Tupa is going to punt it out of bounds. <laughs> He's punting it right side. No. Drummond's going to chase it down on the sideline. Coming cross field mm -mm. to the 30, cuts back, and he is engulfed by Redskins at the 33. Great special team play right there. One of the Redskins is down. And he is up. It's Marcus Washington. Marcus took a Washington. flying leap to the turf. He got shaken up. He'll be all right. He's tough. Tough guy. 439 to go in the game. The Redskins looking pretty good right now. Up by 14, 17 to 3. Detroit with the football, first and 10 at their own 34. The defense is going to show their stuff right now. They got to do that in, in the closing minutes. There's been times and last week was one when Green Bay moved the ball on them and scored and others too. They've got Damn. to close it down. This team is no Green Bay. They don't have any Brett Favre. Nickel 56! Joey Harrington back to pass over the middle. Complete to Oz Akeem to the 40. Not enough for the first down. They give him the 41. Tackled by Sean Springs and Marcus Washington. No Second huddle three. No huddle. You're no, right. No huddle offense. Both teams with two timeouts remaining. 420 to go in the game. The delay game over the middle. It is handed off to Bryson. He's got the first down of the 47-yard line. See, they went on a quick count that time. Picked up the first down. They're moving the chains. They're going with a no huddle. Four minutes. Four minutes to go in the game. Detroit needs two touchdowns. To tie it up. Harrington under center. Here comes the blitz. He's got time. Throws it right side into the turf. A one hopper. Yeah, but he felt the pressure. He felt the pressure from the back side. Joe Salavea was there. Putting some heat on. Yep. Both those tackles. Salavea. Roy Williams, two catches, 21 yards. Salavea and Griffin have really played great football. For two tackles in there that not played with the Redskins before. They have played super today. I, th I think Sam was right. I think Joey Harrington saw too much film of the Redskins defense. Right? Harrington back to pass on second and ten. Has a man. It's Steven Alexander, the tight end. Sean Springs, great play the, to tackle him and keep him in bounds. And the clock keeps running. It's third down now. It's third down. Third and five at the 48 with three and a half minutes to play. It's the 48-yard line of the Redskins. Harrington brings him to the line quickly. On third and five, back to pass. Looking, throws it. Left side, it is complete. Complete to Reggie Swinton. Good for a first down to the Redskins, 36. He cut that one loose. Yep, he did. He fired that one. That was a heck of a pass right there. 315 and counting. First and 10 at the Redskins 36 yard line. Today's game brought to you by Hot Lotto, DC Lottery's new million dollar game. This is that two minute offense that everybody gets in. Harrington back to pass again. Feeling some heat. Floats it out. It's complete to Bryson at the 35 yard line. He's knocked head over heels by Sean Springs. Well, Sean Springs is having some game, isn't he? I mean, he's all around the football. He's having a great year. Seems Silver like, Spring, Maryland. Yeah, it seems like that's the one they're working on. Wherever he is, that's where they throw. Well, that's, he's playing in the middle now. Yeah. He's not playing on the corner. Second and eight lines for the Redskins, 34. Harrington steps up in the pocket, uh -oh. has a man wide open. Oh. Also keen, hit at the four-yard line and nailed at the one. Holy cow, they're back. Did they score here? They're back in the game. Clock continues to roll, 225 and counting. Lions bring him to the line. They Ball marked loose. at the one. They, that, that no huddle offense is throwing the Redskins defense off. Mass substitutions now for the Lions and Redskins. How do they get in the end zone? They didn't. Yeah, I said, how do they? How do they run it? Redskins trying to change. So the Lions looking to draw within a score. Kevin Jones and Schlesinger in the backfield behind Joey Harrington. Play action fake. Harrington looking to the end zone. Has a man touchdown to Corey Schlesinger from one yard out. I didn't think he could run it in. Up front, 
anticipating the onside kick. Deep, Fred Smoot, Liddell yeah. Betts, yeah, the, the way and Rock Cartwright. The way they're lined up is going to be an onside kick. They're all in a group. Now they're spreading out, see? Yeah. Yeah. You got the punter in there. Harris is going to kick off, and he's aiming left. And now a hesitation. Hanson kicks it the other way. It is up. Sean Taylor up elevates and with a sure-handed grab. And he got it. And it looked like but he was going up for a rebound that time. Sonny was right, but Sean Taylor made a terrific play in going up and grabbing that ball. Now the Redskins have, have the ball, and all they have to do is run out two minutes and seven seconds. But Detroit has two timeouts left, so they can still stop the clock. And the two-minute warning's coming up after this next Detroit. play. Miami's leading Arizona now, 23-17 with a minute to play. Sonny, it looks like you might have correctly predicted that game. <laughs> Could be the only one. <laughs> hey, don't ever go by uh, my predictions, okay? <laughs> I did say Pittsburgh would win today. All right, here we go. High formation behind Mark Brunel. First and 10 at the Lions 45-yard line. They can use their timeout. They will. They don't have to use one after no. this play. Portis the handoff, trying the right side, going backwards to the 42-yard line, just backing down, and there is the wait, timeout. Wait timeout taken by the Lions with 2.02 to play. So they're going to save the one timeout, knowing the two-minute warning. You can take it either way, I guess. I mean, they, I would. Rob Gardner is to the right on second and eight. 2.02 to play. Last play before the two-minute warning. The Redskins lead at 17-10. Brunel, pitch left side, Clinton Portis. Trying to sweep the corner, reverses his field, giving yeah. up ground all the way back to his 44-yard line. He lost there. That's a bad That's decision bad. that time by Clinton. Yeah. 150 21 155 to go in the game. 17-10, the Redskins up by seven. Third and 21 at their own 44. Three wideouts deployed by Mark Brunel. And he's going to give it up the middle to Portis. Has a hole, 45 to the 50, still on his feet, still driving down to the 41 yard, the 46 yard line of Detroit. And the Lions take their final timeout with 1:48 to play. So they'll have some time here after the Redskins can happen. Yeah, you could drop the punch. You could have it blocked. You can yeah. you know, all kinds well, of things. The difference in this game here. is the block punt. <laughs> right. Redskins special team. Walt Harris picked it up and went in for the score earlier. Absolutely. And that is the. Deciding score as it stands right here now. They come. Tupa with the snap. Nice boot. Coming down to Drummond. It's inside the five. It hits at the one. Up in the air. Thrash bounces it back. Another great play by James Thrash. And it's down at the two-yard line. Three great plays inside the five-yard line on punts by James Thrash. Yeah, he's the MVP. Absolutely. Wow, he's one of them. Wow. <laughs> he gets my boat. Yeah. The kick return. <laughs> How about, the, how about the punt block and the touchdown from it? The uh, difference in the game. I don't know, but he's he's been consistent throughout the game. He's yes, made he all has. the plays. Well, he's one of our most valuable. Yes, he is. So under control. Now there's a referee conference down here, and I don't like the sign of that. Uh, what they are know. they considering? I don't know. Considering how they're going to get out of here. We're reviewing the previous play as to whether... Yes. Another mistake by the referee. Well, that was... A quick to point so. out, yeah. the play on the field was correct. The yes. call on the field was correct. We haven't okay. made a mistake yet. <laughs> well, they got 98 yards to go for a tying touchdown. This is where the defense has to step up. Say, so look, let's get a safety here and, and go home happy. You got to cover, make sure you cover a guy by the name of Williams. Place is half empty. Yeah. Most of the fans and left. And you can't let them. You can't let them get break loose like they did last time for a touchdown. You got to make an interception and kneel down. From his end zone, Harrington takes the shotgun snap. The Redskins drop back. Still dropping. It's complete. Completion to the running back Bryson. He's tackled at the seven-yard line. You can't stop the clock. Clock is rolling. 125 and counting. Look at the look at the umpire run in with the ball. He does he live he, in Detroit? Yeah, I think he lives in Detroit. Now Harrington under center this time on second and four. Back to pass. Looking right. Fires. It's incomplete. He hit the guy in the head. <laughs> it's Roy Williams in the dome. He hit Roy, Roy, Roy Williams right in the head with the ball. And he was tripped, though. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he got tripped falling down. He was falling down. The, the ball, ball hit him. Right in the head. Third and four from their eight-yard line. You need an interception in this thing. 111 to go. Redskins leading 17 to 10. 
Yes, indeed. Redskins with one timeout remaining. Detroit with none. It's a big play here. Third and four at their own eight yard line. 1 11 to play. Harrington under center. Redskins faking a blitz. Here comes Sean Springs. He throws left side. It is incomplete. Fred Smoot knocks it away, bringing up a fourth down situation for the Lions. Big play by Fred. Big play by Fred Smoot. So with 107 to play, the Lions are down to a final down. Fourth and four at their own eight. This Rich. is it. This Rich. is it. How about a safety here? I just take a stop. You got it. It's a sack. A Anything. stop. Just get him out. Got to end it on a sack. Three wide outs in the formation for Detroit. Redskins have five men up on the line, faking a blitz. Here comes Marcus Washington. Harrington over the middle. Mm. It's complete. It's complete. It's a first down to the 21-yard line to Roy Williams. It, it can't stop the clock, though. It's running. Clock is running. Redskins laying on top of Roy Williams. A few extra seconds tick away. 50 seconds and counting. First and 10 at the 21, and Harrington kills the football into the turf with 49 seconds to to the line. 17-10, the Redskins up by seven. Redskins rushing three. Here comes Washington to make it four. Harrington steps up in the pocket over the middle. It's complete, but the sure tackle made by Ryan Clark at the 27-yard line of the running back Bryson. 39 seconds in counting. 36, 35, 34. Second and four at the He'll own the 27. Ball. He'll down the ball. No, he won't. No, he won't. Harrington back to pass again. Flushed out to the right. Scrambling. Throws it on the sideline. It's incomplete. Which brings up another fourth down situation. Fourth and four from the 27 with 23 seconds you got, left. You got three plays left. Six seconds of play. You have to get a first down. Six seconds of play. He may have one, yeah. Sam, if yeah. he doesn't get this one. You got the, this fourth down. You're right. <laughs> but with 23 seconds. They converted their last yeah. fourth down situation. This is where you lay it all out. Put two guys on Williams. Make sure he's covered. Fourth and four from the 27. Shotgun. The snap to Harrington. Looking deep. Down the middle. It is complete. Or is it not? Did it touch the ground? No. And it's complete to the 42-yard line. 13 seconds. 12. 11. 10. The Redskins get on their side of the football. Harrington kills the football with six seconds to go. Six seconds to go, and he's got one prayer. You got last play coming up? Unless it's a short pass, and then they, they still can't stop it. So you got time for one play. One play left in this game. Redskins up 17-10 with six seconds to go. Harrington's got some speed at the wideouts. Yes, he does. Brings him to the line. Got three wide to the right. And Oz Hakeem is to the left. Let's see what Greg Williams does on this. Does he bring everybody? Here comes the rush. Harrington steps up. up. Flushed out. Scrambling. Still scrambling. Throws it. It's going to be short of the end zone. It is incomplete. Incomplete. No, he catches it on his back. But, but there are zeros on the clock. And it's over. Game over. Redskins win it 17-10. How about that? Hey, it was a great game. It ended up great. Started out slow and ended up great. Redskins get win number three, and they make us sweat a little bit, but we'll take it. Back with our postgame show coming up. Final score, Washington Redskins 17, Detroit Lions 10. Into a new level. Call GMRI today at 1-800-232-4671 and let one of their Sun certified storage engineers show you the power of Sun and GMR. And we have a victory, and it's a better Monday morning for it. Is, isn't Monday always much more enjoyable after the Redskins win? Sure is. And see, sure. Coach Gibbs gets to have he gets to have Monday. He can enjoy himself, and then along come George and Sonny with all their negative questions. <laughs> so instead of doing that, stop shaking your head. Oh, give me some positive ones, will you? Just uh, you want a positive? Throw me some softballs. Okay, here's your <laughs> softball, Coach. Th th this this is how the coach wants the questions. You must be very thrilled with your win over the Lions. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> yes, I am. I'm very, no, so, I enjoyed it. So let me put my twist on it. But you go and you con James Thrash. You sign him as a free agent. Come down here. I'm going to be throwing the football a lot. And you say, by the way, you're covering kicks on special teams. You could not have asked more from number 83. You can't. And I, I will say this to all of our fans. Probably one of the most unselfish football players I've ever been around. Here's a guy that could be catching balls. 
and uh, he, he took to heart the fact that he was going to replace Chad on return, studied in, late into the night. Not only does he run back kicks, which is we all know is a, is a huge responsibility up here in this league, but also covers kicks. Uh, I, I got to tell you, James Thrash, if you want to pick somebody, it's a great Redskin. James Thrash is one of them. What happens to Antonio Brown? You signed him last week. Right. You talk about Redskin type people. Have you got to meet him yet? Great guy, yeah. I mean, he is. We, will he get a we, chance we to wanted, play? Yeah, we want to. We wanted to try and get him up this week, but with our injury situation the way it was, and so many guys hurt, um, and we kind of felt like we had to be deeper at some other spots. And James just, you know, filled in terrifically for us there. And, you know, the way he played there, the, only, the bad news for him is he may just keep the job. <laughs> <laughs> Coach Clinton we, Portis had a real big day, 147 yards. And uh, not only his running, but his arms getting involved. That play right there, by the way, um, I'm glad you showed that. Uh, that's similar to that reverse, and it's kind of a counter, and you take a big gamble on that. All right. That play right there, he could made me look bad on that because that end went straight up field and you saw what he did he just made him miss <laughs> <laughs> so I was on the sideline cheering uh, Clinton played great not only with the ball in his hand but he plays so hard you know he is a very physical tough guy and I think that carries over to our team and that was what I was proudest of both defense offense and special teams as we played very physical and very tough this week and I think it, I think it would it took that you you like to talk about Clinton Portis being able to throw the ball, but I'll bet you you're not. You do. You say he's got a great arm. I, coach, I, we've got three different angles of this, and on none of them did I. Oh my goodness! Was that not a wuss of a pass? Is that ball right on the money though? He, he jumped off the wrong yeah, foot. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, I, I think uh, he didn't look as smooth as Sonny throwing that. I will say that. But, uh, but in any case, uh, I, I think Clinton he got the biggest kick out of that. And I, I think, I guess, in all the time he's played football, uh, you first know, it's the first time he's ever done that. And, and he, he came back to me on the sideline, a little story there, and he walks up to me a little bit later on, about third quarter, and he goes, let's throw it again. He said, they won't expect it. <laughs> and I said, no, they won't expect it because we're not throwing it again. <laughs> so, uh, in any case, uh, one of those little stories. Clinton played a very physical, tough, you know, hard-fought game. I, uh, running back, he, he was running this week. He ran. Guy, a guy that's been playing for you all year long on the defense, and I know you have a number of guys over there doing it. Cornelius Griffith has just been outstanding. He has been outstanding, um, Sonny. I got to tell you, if there's a defensive tackle playing better in the league, I don't know who it would be. Very physical, got two sacks in this game, and just missed a third one. Um, you know, controlling the line of scrimmage, and this guy's been playing across some great people, too. I mean, just penetrating our, our, our whole defensive front that Greg Bosch has done such a terrific job with those guys. Uh, but it's the whole defense over there. Antonio Pierce again, uh, Marcus Washington, uh, Dale Lindsay, the job he's done, Steve and Dwayne with the guys in the secondary, and Kirk filling in over there, and, of course, Greg's leadership. Our defense is just, uh, who would have guessed it? And, and let me Still say this, we've lost, we've lost a lot of guys, too. And now we're worried about Philip Daniels. I was just going to say to everybody, just please say a prayer about our health um, because we've lost a lot of players, and now we're worried about Philip. Our getaway question is, you want to talk about the block punt or you want to talk about your quarterback rating from Sunday? Ah, right, let's take the block punt. Okay, the block punt <laughs> it is. Here it is. This turns out to be the game winner. And the great thing is, it's Taylor Jacobs, another one of your wide receivers. It is, and Taylor took this to heart, too. Uh, I forgot, the, they said something about the Redskins last time we blocked the punt and scored with it. it was, I don't know, forever. Many, many moons yeah, ago. And, and uh, what a great job here, Walt. And... Uh, and Taylor, again, as a receiver, took it to heart. He had a part on special teams. He volunteered and went to Danny a while back and said, hey, I want to be on special teams. And is playing over there for us, just like James. And here's a guy that contributed one of the biggest plays we had and helped us, you know, obviously win this football game and took it to heart, studied that. Who, who, what receiver is going to study blocking a punt? You know, <laughs> they, they just don't run into many of those guys. You're very lucky. Most receivers would be in a funk driving that's right, you nuts. That's right. That's right. With Coach Gibbs, is it is it not nicer to see after a victory the way Coach Gibbs actually smiled today? It really is, George. Let's uh, keep it up. How about that? All right.